Hey y'all, we're Tanya, Dave, Brady, and Bailey. We've been living and traveling in our Winnebago Echo named Desert Snow for two years. We've traveled to over 30 states creating some amazing adventures. Grab a drink and a notebook as we take you on this ultimate Southwest adventure of a lifetime. I was always curious about something is how do you have a snowball fight in the desert when it never snows. You break your own snowballs! I think we might be a little lost. Uh-oh. And it's starting to get dark. <laughs> I need to stop. What's up ahead, babe? Some Where? more. Where? Yeah. Oh, look, Dave! Petroglyphs! I see it. They look like you and me. Yeah. Oh, you and me. What's up? How you doing? I'm sitting on the edge of a cliff. Don't get too close. That's yeah. right. So we're doing our morning thing. Tanya is off getting the coffee. And then we're going to head off to Valley of Fire, which is just over an hour outside of Las Vegas. It's our first time camping there, as, as we said, and it's supposed to be absolutely beautiful. They do have campgrounds that have fire pits. It's supposed to get actually into the 20s tonight, so we're hoping to have a nice campfire and also uh, cook up uh, some nice dinner as well. I'm looking forward to it. So, what about that campfire tonight? You excited? Oh, I'm totally psyched about it. First time. But we actually haven't had a campfire, yeah, you know, camping in the Echo yet. I so. know, I know. And of course, we've done a propane fire pit at the KOA. Well, that's true. But it's not like a campfire. Yeah, so we have, we have real wood. You know, so hopefully, fingers crossed for right. the campground. I thought you brought the real wood. The one thing about this area, you have to actually, you can only have uh, fires in designated uh, um, fire pits for right. campgrounds here right now in this area so and each one of those spots has one yeah, that you can get a spot right exactly so fingers crossed so i was like reading some things here about um valley of fire what's really cool it has like so many trails and according to this article you can cover them all in a day or you can cover many of them in a day oh, wow. you know so there's all different kind of look off points one in particular was remember we talked about before it was uh Elephant head rock, or is it elephant right. rock? Looks like an elephant truck yes, or something, right? Exactly. So I'm looking forward to that. Now we do have the America's Beautiful Pass, but from what I'm reading, it's a state park, so the America's Beautiful Annual Pass doesn't really apply there. So if that is true, then it's ten bucks. Ten dollar entrance fee. Ten dollar entrance fee. And that's just fee. to get into the park, and then Correct. it might be a kind of additional campground fee. Right. Part of it, yeah. Exactly. from the first campground, there's two campgrounds. We're gonna check out the smaller one first and then uh, see if we get lucky. Oh, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, but, yeah, but da -dun. we've already seen boondocking. I know. Boondockers out there, so we may be coming back and do some boondocking, well, we'll see. I, I'm just hoping they're like, okay, well, you know, you have to pay a fee for the park. Right. I just wanna camp and enjoy it. So I'm hoping they're just more of like the, the hippie style. Exactly. Just chilling. Exactly, like find free camping. Free camping. Versus us, where I want to find a bathroom, eventually. Yes. <laughs> We're a little bit into uh, the facilities for at this now, point. We're for still, now. We're still, We're still working work. on it. We're still working, working on it.
All right, so I went to the visitor center. I yeah. made a few wrong turns. <laughs> what do you mean just, wrong turns? Well, I went right out of here, back towards the entrance. Of course, the visitor center is further in. Yeah. But, uh, so I turned around, went down that way. But uh, they have an annual pass for the Nevada State Parks, which are $250 uh, for the year. So yeah. I decided to get that. No way. Uh, Did you really? Because I mean, you figure two nights here <laughs> camping with the entrance fee, it's $40 just for two nights. And we're going right. to do so much more than that. So, right. And it comes with a uh, pass court book you get to stamp <gasps> cool. yeah so we're gonna start stamping the uh, nevada state parks <laughs> yeah I'll let, you're oh. gonna you'll do those stamping there it is and so that right there it says the park passport stamp so park staff may be in the field oh, yeah. if they're available then you can actually issue your own stamp so i think we'll see here. yeah there's a stamp in here yeah i'll hold that up for you let's see if there's actually any ink yeah. oh. does that work all right thank you and yeah, all right. We're going for it. Here we go. Here, I'm going for it. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. It's official. Hey, it Yay! Worked. Valley of Fire. Yeah. <laughs> Just put one foot in front of the other. Oh, I smell like a uh, wood fire going, oh. right? Just put one foot in front of. Oh, there's a. I see him sticking on his peak of this little ground squirrel. Yeah, I see that too, way up there. Little chipmunk, he's standing up. He's like looking. I see it. He's looking at us. Hello, I'm sure if you can monkey. see it. Right up that way a little yeah. bit. Yeah. He's looking at us. <laughs> he said that there's quite a bit of uh, bighorn sheep. Yeah, that would be exactly. So bighorn sheep, he says, sometimes they'll walk through the camps. And I think they come out later in the evening when things are a little quiet. But that's. Yeah, that cave looks cool. There. You're supposed to be telling it. <laughs> wow! Oh my goodness, that is so cool up there. That looks so cool. That's amazing. It almost looks like uh, petroglyphs, but it's not. Exactly. Just, like, just the designs of the rock. Wow! That looks like an animal head. That's pretty cool. What would you say? It's a a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> like Whatever you're saying, I'm sure it's correct. <laughs> a mouse or a, a uh, dog? Maybe it's a dog. Kind of. There's the ears tucked back, ready to greet its owner, yeah. and then there's the nose. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny. You see tiny little paws too, so you might almost get. Uh, you might also get gray foxes out here. Oh yeah, right. It's kind of fun. I this mean, this is beautiful. Isn't it so pretty? And the air is just so refreshing. Uh, dumbfounded by like all these the rock formations like everywhere you turn there's a different rock to look at that has these different crevices in there i'm going to the sunny peak okay heading to the sun i'm excited that we're gonna have uh grilling up some good stuff oh, nice campfire tonight campfire some grilling it's gonna be awesome grilling and chilling grilling and chilling you got it i like that Uh oh. And it's starting to get dark. <laughs> I, if I'm looking correctly at the footprints, they're going the other direction. Exactly. What are we doing this way? What are we doing? We're kind of heading out into the sand. It's like all this kind of red clay on the ground. Look at that. Oh, so peace. beautiful. I know. Want to head back, babe? Yeah, I think we're on the right path heading back, and I'm starving. I know. I want to get that grill going, maybe. Yeah, I have a feeling grill and fire pit sounds really nice right about now. I like that. Let's go! Let's the sun's it. starting to get uh, down closer towards the horizon there, over the over the rock peak. You gotta focus. Stay focused, baby. Stay focused. You haven't seen nothing yet. Wait till you get that little down. You do that backflip? Oh yeah, of course. Hold on. <laughs> Nice. Ready, Harry? Go! You got it. I'm waiting Did for you the see editing. That landing? No, I didn't. Watch, watch one more time. Here it comes. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> you nailed it. Whoa, how was that? You nailed the dismount. Thank you. Was that a 10? Uh, of course it is. 10. And this one goes to 11. <laughs> We're like this close to getting back to the RV to eat because I am yeah. starving. Oh, you ready? I am definitely hungry. Let's do it! Let's do it! <laughs> Oh, y'all, 
about how excited I am to be out here in the Valley of Fire with Dave and us just really trying to, you know, start to warm up to some of the cooler nights and camping. Obviously, you know, we're having a heat issue. Um, so we do have a little space heater to keep the coach indoors warm. We're going to just keep the heat on low um, and hopefully circulate some heat inside some of those compartments so it doesn't conk out, but it should be fine. During the days are pretty warm anyway. But I'm also excited because tonight's dinner is going to be something a lot of you guys really enjoyed seeing. I think this was in episode six. Or was it Sam's Town? And we actually made some ribeye. So we're going with some ribeye tonight, which is going to be nice. We're going to have some white onion sliced with some... Um, um, olive oil, salt, pepper. Uh, Dave's going to be putting out on the grill some post oak to really kind of soak in some post oak flavors in these steaks because it was dynamite. And right now we're just going to relax and have one of our favorite kind of cocktails. <laughs> A little, little burpee. And I love these glasses. Like, yeah, they're plastic, but they almost have that real sort of cocktail glass spin on it. So, hey. Hey, baby. How you doing? I'm doing great. Got oh, some, uh, nice. Left, got some leftover coals from the last time because I closed it off. So oh, sweet. this thing is like stacked and loaded here. Well, I got some stacked and loaded for you. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Hold on a Thanks second. I'm going to go grab mine. A little bourbon, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, you got to warm the I inside. Like First campfire. First campfire. Love it, babe. Thanks so much. Oh, you're welcome. I love I like you. These, uh, oh, I want to show you. I like these fancy glasses. In the, in the light, it sparkles. Stay right? Up. They look fancy. Stay in the light. Stay in the light. So a great night. Right. Great night, babe. I love you so much. I love you so much. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, time for me to get in there and prep that steak. Here we go. Right, cue the B-roll for the sizzle. Here we go. Mm. Alright, here we go. First right. bite. First bite. I hope you like it. <gasps> Cheers. Cheers, love. Um. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I don't care what you tell me. Grilling steak and then infusing it with some of that post oak in there. Crazy, right? Woo. It's crazy good. And oh, careful. I know. <laughs> A little wobbly table. Cheers to a great night. And I'm looking forward to that fire. I know, I'm looking forward to that too. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be wonderful. We we'll start it now, but I think it might smoke us out. Oh, it definitely would smoke <laughs> us out. At least, at least when we don't have the food in front of us, we can shift the chairs around. Exactly. All right, babe, it's time to uh, light up some of those Vaseline and cotton balls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that's right. This is actually a little trick we learned from uh, Chad from Living the Van Life. Yeah. yeah. I actually think he learned it from someone else. So yeah. it's like we're passing it down. We're passing it so down. So it's a little Vaseline in a cotton ball. Vaseline put it on under. Right down under here. So throw it right down into the fire. And let's start it up. Oh yeah, there it is. A little cotton ball. Put it in a little closer there. Nice. Alright, ready, baby? But you also have lighter ones, so you're probably pretty oh. good. This is yeah, just... and it's all natural, but here we go. Let's start it up.
Good morning, good morning on this brisk, cold morning here at Family Fire. I will honestly say we slept well. You know, the temperatures dropped 27 degrees. And of course, when you don't have heat, Oh, it's just, you know, you're kind of nervous about that. You guys know we haven't had heat for a while as so we're trying to get this fixed. But we figured out keeping a little space heater in there and uh, we we're able to get enough heat uh, from the heater to pump into some of those different compartments to keep it warm. I felt we, I don't know, I felt like we made it a big accomplishment in, in being able to camp in cold weather. So that's a, that's a positive sign, and hopefully we're going to have this thing fixed sooner than later. But I got some coffee in hand. Dave's inside just tidying up a bit. And we're going to go try and explore some of these really cool trails. So I'm going to enjoy this cup of coffee. I think Dave's probably going to come out in just a minute. And we're going to explore, but wow, it is so nice to be out here. You wake up and all you're surrounded by is this beautiful red rock. It's just a valley of fire. Oh boy. So we're on our way to check out where Dave we're going up to check out some petroglyphs yeah, over here. Petroglyphs right? Are right around here. I mean they're all over the place apparently. So we're gonna go check some out. So it's been a little uh nice little walk. Not sure how high we'll go up there, but we did uh see a friend of ours we met kind of climb up to the top. Janine, amazing. Yeah. So uh it's so beautiful. I mean it's so peaceful too. Try and talk to the bird. Look how beautiful that bird is. Can I walk up? Oh. He just goes back and forth, back and forth. Gorgeous. What kind of bird is that? Hi, honey. I see you. I see you. Petroglyphs everywhere. I think. That's amazing. Look how high up they go. Right. I know. I think there's some. What's up ahead, babe? Where? Some more. Where? Oh. Yeah, right over uh, that way, right? Oh yeah. man, petroglyphs. Wow, look at that. so cool. Wow. Unbelievable. Oh, this is amazing. Wow. Definitely gotta try and get a couple of photos of that. Wow. <gasps> That's amazing. That is so cool. How old do you think these are? Like 2,000 year old petroglyphs? About 2,000 year old? Yeah, I don't know personally, but. Uh, I thought I was reading something yeah, about like right, yeah. scattered around, you'll find like petroglyphs uh, ranging somewhere in 2,000 year old I'm petroglyphs. Sure you're right. But that's incredible. That is so cool. Look at that. That's amazing. So what does that mean? Hen circle. Right? Hen circle. That's incredible. Can you believe this? Like seriously, you don't even touch it. It's like No, definitely just not. Leave it alone and King Kong. King Kong, climbing. Oh, when he's kind of sitting like this. Arms down, head, top, there's like the face. And then that little lower lip is the shoulders when they kind of sit like, like that. Oh yeah, there you go. Right? I see it, yeah. It's like a gorilla. You're crazy. King Kong. <laughs> King Kong comes. King Kong. To Vegas. To yeah, Vegas. It's about an hour outside of Vegas, this is amazing. I know, just one hour. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was amazing. 
I really appreciated seeing that up close like that. And now, of course, learning now it's like 4,000 years. Oh, 4,000 years, unbelievable. But for anyone watching this coming here, don't vandalize. Oh yeah, I know. I mean, they've been 4,000 years. And then you see some of that vandalism, which is not cool. Look at that, a little nose there. Could be a little nose there, maybe? Yeah. So I'm trying to record our little bits and pieces here, maybe pop them up on our Instagram and see if folks can kind of guess what the uh, formations of the rocks are. Exactly. You're right, I think that looks a little human-like, for sure. Might get more creative after a few beers. <laughs> That's a good point, after a few beers. <laughs> or something else. Before we get hiking, I want to take time and show where the visitor center here. It's actually a really cool visitor center. And I just actually went in quickly before when I got the annual pass for the uh, Nevada National Parks. But uh, I want to check it out, maybe learn something about uh, the geology and other things in the park. all around I think there are right yeah Unbelievable. but it is amazing to be you know staring you kind of walk down and you look over and there's like a 4,000 year old petroglyph just all over the rock face I know and it's super cool I mean I'm starting to notice a pattern that a lot of this petroglyph seems to be drawn into the desert varnish right Maybe there's some sort of um, uh, uh, what do you call it almost like a preserves it like a preservative oh, yeah. in it that preserves it so long Absolutely. that know, it doesn't right? weather away even with with the wind and the exactly. potential rains or whatever weather conditions are out here it's manning the storm The trail is about a hundred feet, thirty meters, this way. This way, babe. Be careful. Yeah. So this is uh, this is mouse's. This is the mouse tank. This is the mouse tank, and mouse yeah. wasn't uh, any old mouse. No, mouse was an outlaw, and this is kind of a, the supposed story is where he hid out and potentially was able to survive here because the mouse tank was always filled with water. Except today, I don't really see any down there. Yeah, no water down there today. <laughs> no water but apparently when Mouse was on the run, came here and was able to drink some water. Yeah, well, I'm going to enjoy hanging out here for a few minutes. Wow. It's a beautiful spot. So there's this really, as you can see here, this is called Rainbow Vista. It's sort of an overlook point uh, as we're heading from the Mouse Tank to our next destination. But look how vivid the colors are of the stone behind us. It's so, I, I just, it's, it's speechless. This is silica dome. Oh, okay, so silica dome. And it says this, the sandstone formations are so prominent into the Valley of Fire, made of sand grains that are almost pure silica. Wow, Ooh. okay. What's up? What's up? How you doing? I'm sitting on the edge of a cliff. Don't get too close. That's you know, right. Didn't, didn't want to look like one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm on the edge of a cliff. Hello. Hear that echo? I heard it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're serenading the folks. Oh. Wow, so these stones here, this is the Seven Sisters. Oh, there's a transcend. Oh, that's really amazing. So 
do you think, babe? Was that a good impression? I think so. I think you got it. <laughs> we did it! High five! High five. All right, this was a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. It but, does look like an elephant. <laughs> it does. I feel like we've just scratched the surface. We have a we have a lot to explore here at the Valley of Fire still. Yeah, we do. But this is a really cool spot. Absolutely. Catching this right around sunset too. Exactly. Right? So that was a lot of fun. Oh, it's been a great two days here. Valley of Fire is awesome. Yeah, there's so much to see and do, and I feel like we've only just scratched the surface. Yeah, I completely agree. Yeah, and where we are right now, this elephant rock, there are so many kids enjoying it. Yeah. Oh, exactly. You might actually hear them, although I think they've moved on. I think they've moved on. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's just a were... lot. So expect a lot of kids, a lot of folks pulling onto the side of the road to yeah. check out Elephant Rock. And boy, can they climb. They're climbing up these oh, rocks yeah. like, it's, like it's no problem no whatsoever. No fear at all. But the sun is setting, and yeah. I do not see any street lights here, so <laughs> I think we need to roll. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a fun drive. Yeah. Maybe the stars will come out tonight. The, the sky's clearing. So this is our first time doing this. <laughs> so I'm a little nervous. If I remember correctly. Got a so-called bat wing. so-called bat wing. Did you see that? I did. Wasn't that really cool? It was oh so my cool. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is the spot that scares the crap out of me. Just a little soft. A little soft. Oh dear God. No yeah. problem for us, right? No problem. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I have to tell you something. Yeah, what? We got here pretty late. We did. Sunset is happening very soon. It and is. This park closes. We have a lot of washboard roads. I know. So, so I'm a little nervous. So I hope we get out of here. Yeah, this is the uh, toughest road we've been on so far in the Echo. <laughs> so we are excited today. We're actually taking our boy for the first time out on the dirt roads uh, to a, a really neat boondocking spot to. Uh, just to really check it out and just to have a wonderful time. Yeah. With, you know, in the, the campsite and uh, get the fire going. Yeah, so right. excited to kind of really do more of that boondocking experience and right. go off grid. I mean, we've done it via van, you know, camper vanning out in like Iceland. Right. But to have our boy, we're going to put it to the test, baby. <laughs> exactly. And, 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 and really, we're headed to a town, an abandoned town here near Lake Mead that used to be underwater. So it's like an, a, an abandoned underwater town that now, you know, it is uh, obviously, obviously it's it's not underwater now. And we want to check it out and, and show you guys. First time for us being there as well. Actually just got our passes. We got yes. our pass, like America's Beautiful Pass. Yeah, yeah, we got America's Beautiful Pass. It costs $80 a year, basically for us and and, and the Echo. And uh, we can go to any of the, uh, the uh, parks yeah. Uh, and BLM land, yeah. you know, so it's going to be awesome. Well, let's get this show started, baby! Alright, back on the road. On the road again! <laughs> It is so beautiful and so dry. It is so dry. <laughs> I know, it's incredible. Tumbleweed. Uh, You're basically headed to right, uh, should be right next to Lake Mead. Yes. So, it'll be cool to check out. And of course, it's been, uh, you'll probably also see evidence of the drop, I'm sure, in terms of the uh, the level. Oh gosh, that's right? and that's really sad. I mean, I remember when I we, were, we were there, um, not that long ago, kind of, we were filming that episode of the Hoover Dam yes. and that the scary truth about the Hoover Dam and I just remember going over there and we we're standing on that that bridge that kind of connects Arizona and Nevada and you look over and you can see how much the water has dropped. Nice little camp spot. Right? This is the perfect spot, actually. It, no, it's very perfect. For now. And, I mean, I'm sure much better down there. Well, but. I know. We're being a little cautious. Being a little cautious because 
First time here going down dirt roads. I want to be careful in the echo. Don't want to uh, go into any deep ruts. Yeah, and it's, right? it's more so me than you. you no, know, oh no, it's both of us. I mean, I mean, you can look this way. I mean, I mean, that's that could be some trouble, right? That there. Could, that could be a, a dangerous <laughs> tip yeah. over. And, and you never know. You don't know where we'll be driving now, and suddenly we'll get a dip, and we're gonna have to back out. Well, that's what I was afraid of. I, know. I was afraid of it being like more, yes. more like over here. I was afraid of it being more like that. Like you're gonna exactly. get into a spot where it's gonna look smooth now, then all of a sudden you get this dip and then you have to back out. And then I have to back out for like skinny. a quarter mile. <laughs> <laughs> now the one thing we probably should have gotten is a bigger area rug so you can kind of like not track the dust inside because you know how I'm gonna be with all the dusty I'm gonna be in trouble. I'm gonna be tracking all kinds of dust in this thing. Ah, I'm gonna be some trouble. I think we bring out the old bat wing. Okay. All right, so this is our first time doing this. <laughs> so I'm a little nervous. If I remember correctly, yeah, the so-called Batwing. The so-called Batwing. Here we go. This is kind of a cool addition, though. I like, think it's neat. All right, so let's, let me focus for a second. All right, so you got to roll it up. Yeah, roll it on up. Now we unlatch all these guys here. Yeah, take off the uh, Velcro. The Velcro straps. Right on through. All right. <laughs> it's got the straps. I know. It's so fun. All right, and then it kind of rolls out like so. Right. All right, and then this is the first leg of it and then we Come just kind of go around bring it around here it comes oh here it comes it's like a parachute so you don't you don't want to do this when it's super windy no <laughs> definitely not like right now, I feel like the wind's picking up a little bit yeah a little bit. right and then this should yeah. come in let me help you with that in here right in there I remember how you can do it. it yeah the wind's picking up yeah so this is not going to stay out <laughs> no I don't think so uh, like that okay and then Perfect. you let it go yeah awesome and then this guy comes down. Let's see, how does that work? You kind of slide him back. Okay. Yeah, and, okay, cool. And this comes down. Now, got it. This comes right down there. Ah, okay. And then you would normally use pivots to kind of. Right, you can kind of pull things down. Right, pull things down and pull them tight and secure. And then right and same here. Same thing too. with the ropes. Okay, so we're not going to. Pull gonna, that down. Okay. But hey, that's great, but this is great. Kind of cool. Now, of course, bat wing. Now, it's all of course, kinds the sun, of sun. Of course, the sun's down low, so it's not really giving us much shade. <laughs> if, if, you go, if you go way over there, you get a little shade. Ah! See, there's some shade way over you're here. You're right. So. Way in the corner. Right here. There you go. There's a little bit of shade ah, right here. Ah, took out the whole entire bat wing awning for that little snippet <laughs> of shade. <laughs> Shady spot. I found some wood for the fireplace tonight. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, so what I wanted to point out was super cool. Look at this. There's tracks here. So these tracks, remember we saw something like there's burrows, like like right. donkeys? Yeah. So the burrow donkeys are here, but you saw something like Oh, there's a lot right of burrows. There's like there's like donkey crap all over the place. Yeah, there's like donkey poo. Donkey right poo. All over the place. Now I'm not sure if that there's nothing that uh, predators of the burrows out here, right? Oh, there <laughs> might be. Well they might be attracted to that poo. Not as far as I know, babe. Oh, okay. <laughs> dusty. It is dusty. You can definitely feel the dust. On some dust in my teeth. Alright, I think it's time. That might come in handy. Yes. If you're walking at night, you might want to put that down first in case there's snakes out here. You can definitely feel the wind picking up. Yeah, I'm getting like dust in my eyes. Yeah, it's dusty for sure. You getting hungry, babe? I'm starving actually. Maybe time to kind of get a uh, kind of our little campsite set up here. So guys, we actually just saw a coyote off in the distance. It's too far right now. We had we heard some coyote howls and then spotted one. Uh, so maybe if with some luck, maybe we'll actually spot one, get it on camera uh, later for you. But we're setting up our first campsite here at uh, Edwards Point. It's a uh, it's a oh Sarah Stewart's, Stewart's Point. Point. See, I'm working on it. Yeah, Stewart's yeah. Point, and it's an absolutely beautiful spot. And we have all new equipment too. We got our new table, Yay. which we picked up at uh, Walmart. Uh, pure luxury, right? It's gonna work out great though. And we have a Nomad Grill, which actually is very cool i've never tried it before uh, but it's going to be real uh, natural charcoal we're going to fire that up and cook up something really nice tonight and then tomorrow morning we're going to head over early to the uh, submerged the old abandoned submerged town and it's a short distance away from here called saint thomas and uh, we're super excited to check that out Some uh, table issues. Yeah, unfortunately, this 
very cheap table. I, <laughs> I was going for more style because all the rest of them were like this weird, like white, kind of really bright and in your face kind of. I thought it was a good idea. idea. It's a I good like idea, it. but boy, this one leg is like moody. Yeah, it's that. not it's like, like saying shots. Like, gotta... Wow, look at that. It's a hello table. <laughs> I, what I, is... I put the nomad on and it just got to slid right I down. Just said bye. Just it's like bye bye table. See ya. And I was, I was, <laughs> oh, wait a second. Okay. I can fix this. Oh, uh, we can fix it. First mod. First mod. <laughs> Complete. <laughs> Wobbly table. But there hey, it is. But hey. hey, it's not going down. Nice job, babe. So it's all efficient, just kind of goes right into this little container here. Natural and then wood coals. Natural wood coals. And then you pour that right into the Nomad grill and then uh, you close it and it kind of heats up, starts heating up, right? Yeah, and I'll move this grill. See, this grill is actually magnetic. And I'll oh. move it over. I'm going to move it over. We have two of these, but we don't need it both tonight. You can see some burrows coming up over the ridge. Yeah. Hopefully they'll come. I'm hoping they come closer. Of course, uh, give, give us some fresh poop over this way. Yeah, those look like cows to me. Strike, strike the burrow. Strike the burrow. <laughs> They're just moving. They're kind of just uh, moving around, moving along nice and slow. Let's see how Tanya's doing. She's actually uh, getting things prepped up for the grill. Hey, babe. Hey, How you doing? I am doing great. I mean, this is a wonderful spot. Got the chicken marinated. Excellent. Now, there's one thing we did not have. Uh -oh, is our little, our little uh, sort of kind of Cajun spice that was there. I, know. I don't know what the heck happened to it. It's just not here. That's back so, at the uh, mothership. It's back at the mothership. <laughs> no. But um, we do have, it, it'll go really nice. I think the flavor of yeah. the zucchini. Oh, got all these weird little things coming That's in some here. Bugs. There's some yeah. bugs in that. Got the Vegas, Sunset. The desert bugs. Yeah. So I'm going to chop up some zucchini nice so you can kind of grill some zucchini. I think that's going to go really nice with the chicken. Absolutely. Um, and then I'll pour us a nice glass of wine and I think we're going to have gonna a be great awesome. night. It's going to be beautiful. And then especially high five with nice those time. views. Oh, so amazing. Look at that. And while you're looking at those views, everybody, I'm going to smooch my man. <laughs> <laughs> my babe, my babe got the chicken ready. We're going to put it on now. The grill's been uh, cooking for about almost about 30 minutes now. It's about 300 degrees. And I'm um, excited. First time cooking on the Nomad. I'm gonna open it up here. I think I may kind of keep it closed to let it almost bake a little bit. But we'll just kind of get these going. Kind of hear that on there. Spread out a bit. See how it comes. Where's my zucchini? It's right here in the pot, baby. <laughs> Thanks, babe. I'm just greasing it up for you. Excellent. It's not that so curvy. <laughs> Ooh. What do you got? 
I don't know, something just flew in here. Oh no. <laughs> <Off of> your head. <laughs> Zucchini coming. Yes, and no, pretty much salt perfect. and pepper. Just a little salt and pepper. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Then we can kind of salt and pepper to taste afterwards, right? That'd be perfect. Yeah, this is going to be great. This is going to be awesome. And how about I pour some nice glass of wine? I uh, would love it. Yeah? Thanks, baby. Okay, you know how you can get that glass of wine? How to do that? Clean up this mess. <laughs> <laughs> what mess? What are you talking about? Look at all that stuff There's we got to no put mess. away. There's no uh, mess. Is that a mess? I don't it's know. not a mess. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh well live and learn here first time using the nomad it actually didn't really it only got up to about 200 degrees it was at 300 and then i put the food on it got down to about 200 so almost like a smoking temperature so i'm actually heating up some more charcoal may have uh let the charcoal run for a little bit too long not sure it is really windy out here so i'm actually cooking up some more charcoal I'm gonna put that under um the chicken and the zucchini and then uh cook up more of the food under the night sky. Yeah, no, it's really nice out here. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. It's amazing. I thought so. Oh, <laughs> I thought so. Yes, um, sir. It's just, you know, you get this beautiful breeze, you know, right now. And of course, I'm a little freaked out that it's so pitch black back there, but hey. It's all good. It's all good. Right. But it looks good. This, you really yeah. did a great job on this. I have definitely have some work to do on that Nomad Grill. I had a hard time getting the temperature much above 200 degrees, so not ideal, but, uh, Hopefully next time I'll figure it out. Well, I can tell you right now that a zucchini is nice. It's, ooh, watch your wine. Oh no, the wobbly table. table. Watch it. And we have mm -hmm. more zucchini coming. It's actually nice. Right. It's got a lot of nice flavor. You can, I, I love, even with that little Nomad Grill, you know, the charcoal flavor. Mm-hmm. And it really kind of cooks into it. Like that open exactly. charcoal grill, it's delicious. Nice job on the chicken. You know, beginner's luck. Yeah, and then look at that zucchini on yeah. it. We're, we're, looking, we're trying to get a few grill marks on those. Oh, I can see some. Yeah. I see that third one from <laughs> the left. Third one from the right. Third one from the right. Did you see that? I did. Wasn't that really cool? <laughs> it was oh so my gosh. cool. Actually, we just saw a gray fox. That was awesome. That just was kinda, so cool. It kind of came right in the light. Right over that way. Yeah, I got the got the trusty flashlight. There's another one over there. I know, and kind of uh, just just, ran, just ran right by us. I know. Unfortunately, the camera was not running. No. So sorry, guys. But so we've seen coyote. We've seen a gray fox and, and, and cows. cows. <laughs> and cows. Wow! All within a matter of a couple of hours. Like just, some strange things some that are strange. some strange two-legged folks, humans. Yeah, and humans. But I think you figured it out the ground. Yeah, well, I think you figured it out. I think. See, I was closing it off, which I think is really does set it up as more smoky. You can see when you open it up, though. I mean, that is really flaming That's now. Really flaming. So next time, I keep it open. <laughs>
Welcome to Lake Mead National Recreation Area. St. Thomas sort of loop trail here. Now it's about a two and a half mile loop. Yeah, apparently this was first established as a Mormon settlement, but then uh, the, the settlers realized that they weren't in Utah and they wanted to get to Utah where I think Brigham Young was. And so they actually left and then a new settlement came. So anyway, should we get going? I like it. check make sure we locked the vehicle I'm gonna stand ground right here because I am not going any further without him <laughs> it's lint they say it would harvest 5,000 pounds of lint that's kind of interesting oh geez right here this is back in St. there's the town way back when wow and look at that you can see the machinery harvesting right? it wow it's very uh Watch out for the -doop. a lot of these uh, animals you can tell which trails they take yeah they use the trail uh, so now i know more about the story tell me so the settlers the mormons they thought they were in utah but then they realized they were in nevada when the nevada tax authorities were trying to tax them ah. right so they're like we're out of here we're going to utah see you later right? so they, they abandoned the yeah they abandoned the town right. to not pay taxes. Right, and then some other folks came in after they departed. Right, right. they basically had to leave because they were about to, uh, water was about to sink them. Yeah. <laughs> now this looks like maybe an old foundation to someone's home, but it also used to probably be home to some of the fishes. <laughs> <laughs> right, I know. It is really kind of creepy you just see all these uh, foundations and all this, there's a row of trees here as well. You can see that had been planted and just got completely submerged, going off, and then some foundations as well, all around was, us. I actually believe that was part of a, the Virgin River Bridge. Oh, wow. So those were little, probably the grommets on the bottom here. Oh, my goodness. Uh, wow. Okay. So that's why they're all perfectly got kind of shaped out right. from their way. So treacherous waters of Virginia became easier with the building of this bridge in 1915. Interesting. That's really cool. So that's like the foundation of a bridge yeah, from which, way which, back. Yeah, which you, why, you can probably see it just extends out in that direction. Right. That's crazy. Crazy. Oasis along the trail. This feels so ghostly. Home sweet home. This is a nice little uh, family homestead, I guess. Oh, yeah. I wonder if it was there like a kind of a well or like what is this thing over here? I actually don't know what that was. Oh yeah. Hello. Hello. Hello down there. Hey. That is creepy. What if somebody said hello back? Then I think we can haul butt back to the car. <laughs> if someone says hello back, we are out of here, babe. This used to be the school, Dave. Yes, that's incredible. Wow. Unbelievable. Look how decent sized school that was. Look at that little artifact sitting up there. It's like a little pot or something. I'm not gonna go stepping on the stairs, but that's a little bit of a closer look. That's pretty neat. So interesting. Look, there are tons of sort of seashells. Wait a second, babe. I think I can. I think I can. I can hear the lake. Oh, can you? I can hear the lake. What's it saying? What's the lake saying? It's saying, feed me some water. 
Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. Oh, very cool. Very we, unique. Absolutely, ghost town, bottom of Lake Mead. Now, I have to tell you something. Yeah, what? We got here pretty late. We did. Sunset is happening very soon. It is. This park closes. We have a lot of washboard roads. I know. So, so I'm a little nervous, so hopefully we get out of here. Yeah, this is the uh, toughest road we've been on so far in the Echo. <laughs> oh my gosh. So wish us luck, everyone. Let's run. Let's go, oh let's get gosh, it. Oh my gosh, let's go. Let's I go. Oh dear God. No problem. Right, no oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god! Oh! I kind of feel like kind of kicking in the sand a little bit. Put a loop to loop around these holes. Ooh, kind of shows us the path. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This is going to take us out too? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, how comfortable are you right now? What? Be careful, be careful, be careful. <laughs> Already started out! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, holy sh So today we're headed to Arizona for something actually we have not done before and that is an ATV adventure. Very excited about that. Some mountains, some lakes, some abandoned mines. It's uh, supposed to be really cool. We're excited for that. Now Tanya's getting the coffee. So first up, coffee. Good morning, good morning, it's Dr. Day. Hey, got some coffee. Oh, awesome, the all important <laughs> coffee. It's so funny, I feel like this is kind of like a repeat. It's like... <laughs> yes, this is not a repeat. Coffee, episode nine, kicking <laughs> off the day of the coffee way. <laughs> this is how we roll, it's coffee with Turn It Up World. It's coffee <laughs> with Turn It Up World. It's Starbucks for the holidays. So you excited uh, for the Arizona ATD oh, yeah. adventure? I am so excited. Um, a little nervous and I'm excited because this is gonna be the dirtiest we have ever been in a matter of three hours riding in an ATV because of all that sand, gristling dirt. So yeah, I'm ready to chew on some sand. <laughs> while but it's so beautiful coming out this early in the morning like right around the Lake Mead area and seeing that beautiful sort of cascading sunlight off the mountains it's gorgeous oh it's so amazing I, I think the, the early mornings and evenings in this area are just stunning with yeah. the shadows that are created yeah I just think we walked on this bridge yeah yeah right? and this bridge is so high up it's unbelievable we've right? never driven over it I know it's so cool Be him right there. Oh, hi. All right, looks like we made it to the location. How you doing? Hi, destination location. Oh, thanks. Hey. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. We came out of Vegas. How you doing? <laughs> okay, okay, sure. Think we'll make it all right? Think we'll make it down there okay? Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, awesome. great. Sounds good. Thank you. Look at that Jeep. Yeah, that's a Woo, nice Jeep. Rubicon. Rubicon. That's the jam right there. Now he says no problem down this road. He said it was a place for us to park. Oh boy. Let right. the adventures really begin here. <laughs> it's so yeah. I know, right? You definitely feel like you're heading off into an adventure. Man. It is cool down here. Oh yeah. Okay, I can see where if, if oh, you yeah. have like a trip a long trailer, you might yeah, be bouncing around. Yeah, we're babying a little bit. Oh, wash oh, he has a really big bump here. Yeah. We'll take our time. He's cruising because he's got that Rubicon. Exactly. Like, see ya. A little washboardy in here. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it is oh, cool down here. Oh, yeah. Oh, here's a good one. Be careful. Got a little bump here. Um, how comfortable are you right now? It's been great. No, it's actually, this is the perfect kind of road for it right now. Until we oh. until we get a raise, so we can actually go over a little tougher stuff. This is actually is probably uh, about kind of what we want to go down. Okay. 
There's, not that. There's, not, there's a little bump up here coming up. But. It's like little trailers. Oh my, why? Right? Tires everywhere. Oh, Where are we? Where are they taking us? Watch the pipes on this one. Exactly, right? Oh, jeez Louise. <laughs> Ow. Already started. Ow! Jeez. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Holy sh! <laughs> God damn! We're laughing for pure fear. <laughs> There's no fear at all. We're professionals here. Wait, what is this handle called that I'm holding on to? Oh, it don't <laughs> handle. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Tell us really quick before we get started a little bit about your company, the name, and go. All right, so it's called <laughs> We Experience. It's French for yes, because my wife is from Montreal. We it also stands for sure. Off-Road UTV Interactive Experience. We're the only business that'll have you screaming our name. We! <laughs> <laughs> and our main catchphrase is that this is the dirtiest fun you can have with your clothes on. Okay. Today it shouldn't be too dusty because it rained a couple days ago, but... Just to make sure they get a little dirty. Well, that, that's, <laughs> so we're gonna get a little prep session here going on to figure out. And we gotta pay attention to this. Yes. You'll, you'll be driving, right? I think we're both gonna be using driving. Yeah, you can switch off. I yeah, we'll switch film. off. I got film. Okay, that works. <laughs> it's basically a car. <laughs> oh, awesome! But yeah, it's really easy. Perfect. Does it fit? I think so. Okay, like is this it's here. It's it's. Uh, it's it's tight. It has to be That's, tight yeah, here. Yeah, you want it to be a little snug. It has to be uh, normal here. Does it hurt here? Um, no. What size is this one? Medium. Medium, Medium yeah. Thankfully, hair compresses. Good luck. You got it. You got it. There we go. Yeah. There you go. Looking good. Right there. I can try a bigger one. It looks a bit high. Nice. <laughs> 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 So we hit the first stop here yes. in our little uh, ATV trek in the Black Mountains, and it's an absolutely gorgeous view. One of the most interesting things we noticed here was this couch that looks like it's it's positioned here forever. It's, it's got a good position. In. It's bolted in. Because I guess the cows will come by and like tear it apart. Ah, they're but like, basically, like but basically. A lot of the uh, old timers that live around here will come up here and sit and just have some beers and have a great time. And, and then they will basically skate and shoot with the shotguns out here, which is super cool. Got a lot of open space for it. And uh, that's what they do for fun. It takes some talent to not have to itch that, you know? 
<laughs> On the road again. <laughs> At us. Hey, he's looking at you, kid. Hello. All right, Fred. Hey Bye, buddy. Welcome to the no play zone where you gotta focus. The mountain will swallow you up. <laughs> Though, so it looks like we're going really fast. <laughs> that one. Oh, oh wait, you got this guy. What? That is what he just conquered. Yeah, baby. All right. High five, ah. High five, ah. Like a drug man, I just can't deny. is called Dixie Mine for those of you that like to Google search things. Uh -huh. <laughs> right? Well, Dixie that, Mine. <laughs> yeah, Dixie, Dixie Mine. And it was started in the late 1880s. It's an old gold and quartz mine. And they would do arsenic hard rock crushing out here. Oh, so cool. they would find pieces of quartz like this. Come here. So quartz like this right here. And then they would vaporize it into dust, put it in water. They would add arsenic, which would cause the gold dust that's in the quartz to float to the top. They'd skim it off the top, put it into a pan, put that pan in a fireplace, melt down all the gold ore into solid chunks, and then they'd float it all down the Colorado River. It's pretty cool stuff. Oh, wow. So we're gonna find some We're uh, gonna do chunks. some uh, gold mining today? We're gonna do some mining. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is, the actual mine. I'm not sure what's in there. Maybe foxes. It's kind of cold, so they might huddle, maybe. Coyotes, hopefully no mountain lions. No, no mountain lions, bats though, <laughs> there are bats in there. Oh, there's bats in there. Two people climbing up and down that, carrying minerals and tools Jeez and everything. Jeez Louise. Oh, you gotta go in and out of this too? Nope, this is just for clearing just for the air. air. Yeah. I see, okay. Yeah, they would use dynamite to blow holes like this all the way down. Wow. wow. So it's to help clear out the methane. Ah. Fun factoid. Uh, the term, a, a little birdie told me, comes from mining because they would carry a little bird, a little canary in a, in a cage with them. And when the canary passed out because there was not enough oxygen, too much methane or other gases down there, the little birdie told them, get the hell out. Oh. <laughs> That's why they bring all the that goes straight down? Yep. Holy moly. So for instance, if you do this. Well, let's hear the sound oh, wow. of it. They actually Whoa. went too deep and hit an aquifer and flooded out part of the mine. Seriously? Yep. Throw it. Oh yeah, ready? Yep, listen closely. That's pretty far down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Of course, you can't really see it anyway. It just goes black. Right. 
Yikes. Over there, Bill. Yeah, throw us up. Find, find a. Uh, <laughs> so an elevator shaft, really cool. Yeah. Huh. Here we go. Ready to throw that? Let's count how long before the kaplunk. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Four, four seconds. Th Holy mother, that's a long fall. <laughs> I'll never get out of that. Once again, still silent. Yeah. Hey! Bullet holes! Little target practice! Wow! Cool. Dave, are those loons? What are, what are, what are those? Uh... They look like loons. Yes, yeah. Are they really? Oh, wow. Good eye. What do you got, Bib? I got to do oh, some skipping. I have the perfect. Time for some skipping? The perfect skipper. There you go. Let her fly. Get that positioning just right. You got it. Hold it like good formation. Like you good got formation. it. Okay. Oh. Well, that's Try number two. You'll find it, you'll find it. <laughs> this is the perfect one. Now, you, now that other one was not the perfect one at all. Not the one. That was a practice, it was testing the uh, That's true. water. All right, here we go. All right, good hey. job. Good job, Ed. Well done. Thank you, Ms. Wash. Give her another try. Twist the way. <laughs> going this way. The proof he's going that way. There you go. It is a wave oh, though. Okay. That's, good. Good. Yeah. that's wave not that is not cool. Oh no. There it is. There you have it. Nice oh no! Oh no no no. Well, that's, that was pretty damn good. Look at this place. Absolutely beautiful. All unreal. shells, like unbelievable. All shells. Look at that. Blow it away. birds look so healthy and flat. It's all shells and bird crap. Shells and bird crap. All together. Now on my all hand. hand. Right. Hey, high five off. No, <laughs> Come on. Well, wash your hands in the water. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> He's got <laughs> gloves <laughs> on. He's got Love gloves on. It's really quite amazing how much more you can see of places when you have something like those sort of UTVs, I think they call them, or ATVs, all-terrain vehicles, but it's absolutely incredible, or even a four by four. So maybe something we consider food for thought. Lots of good food for thought. All right, so you ready, babe? I am ready. Time for time to do some driving. Time for me to get behind the wheel of this. Now we're ready for some speed. Kitten. <laughs> You're ready for some speed. All right. All right, so just Let's turn this. this yep. Yeah. You got it. Nice. Oh. Woo! Got to go into H. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. Sit them down. Three. Doors closed. Doors closed, we're off. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, we just went up! 
Right up there. Right up there. Granny. Perfect. Bye, Granny. Nice. Woo. Oh, pit stop. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> Oh no, we're flying! You lost the <laughs> We're flying! Oh, you like it? Oh, you're trying to make me sick in my stomach. I'm I sorry, you I'm not trying to do that. Woo! There you go. Good morning, good morning. So that was a lot of fun. I am I had a great night's sleep. Still thinking about like the UTV adventures we had yesterday, and that was so much fun. Oh, it was epic. I mean, it was just absolutely beautiful. I mean, the uh, the views are incredible. I couldn't believe how gorgeous uh, Mah Lake Mojave was as well. Kind of coming over the mountains and seeing that whole expanse. Oh yeah, it was incredible. a wonderful tour, and it was set up perfectly to yes. maximize the fact that we may want one now. <laughs> yes, who knows? We'll see. Wow, this is going to be a relaxing day for us until supper and i know we have a great great supper planned tonight yes can't wait for that can't wait should we kind of give him a hint on that kind of no <laughs> i think that was a hint <laughs> well the sun is getting pretty low here it's almost time to cook our dinner. We uh, One thing we love doing is just getting out with a natural wood charcoal, cooking on the grill, cooking up something nice. Tonight we actually have some lamb we're gonna cook up for you. So we are super excited for that. It's gonna be awesome. And Tanya is actually getting some things prepared too. Hey Tanya. Hey. What are you doing? All right, so something we haven't done in a long time is a fresh old homemade salad, I guess you would say. So I'm just gonna have some fresh ingredients. We've got some avocado we're gonna add into that. Definitely having some of those tomatoes we love so well. And of course, the dressing you made up, which is a good scene, good, good season concoction, one love of our it. favorites. And I, I have to say, even if you're not doing, say, the RVing space, just get outdoors. 
enjoy some of the fresh air wherever you can chop up a salad outside because I'm just being out here is kind of mentally therapeutic it's rejuvenating just sitting here with a glass of vino and nice. just chopping up some salad here and of course you, you gotta love the Christmas decorations right yeah, you, gotta look, nice. you gotta love the Christmas decorations here little like tablecloth it. getting festive but I am excited to dive into the salad and I'm excited for what's for what's for dinner so oh, tell yeah. what's for dinner yeah, well, I actually mentioned to him, we're going to cook up some lamb tonight. Oh, you told him. I did tell That's him. That's awesome. And uh, we're going to fire up the grill. Fire so up the grill. Got to get that started. Let's get it started. Fire in the hole. What I normally do is actually lift that puppy up. Like this? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. That's coming at you. Good morning. All right, so we are back in a very familiar spot where we were once before in Arizona at a place called Williams Campground. And the reason we're here is sort of a stopping ground for Dave and myself right now because we're about to do two things in our RV that we have never done before. One, we're gonna be caravanning. So we've never caravanned before. So this is gonna be a fun mini caravan trip. And two, uh, for those of you that don't know what caravanning is, it's basically a group of folks getting together in the RV space to travel to different destinations together. And two, we're gonna be heading to, quite frankly, places in our RV that we would never go. But you know what the saying is, sometimes the hardest destinations to get to are the most beautiful. How are we doing? Put some water in. Yeah. There's, there's no water where we're going. There's so no water. Bring your own water. Okay. So B Y O W. How much do you think we should put into the tank? I'm putting about 80%. 80%. Which is probably like 35 gallons or so. Okay. Actually, no, it's 40 gallons. 40 gallons. Yeah, 40 gallons. Yeah, yeah. good. Nice. I see we got the filter going up right there. Boom. Yeah. So it's fresh in there. Fresh water. Fresh water. Fresh water. <laughs> Look, and he's got like the uh, air compressor. So he's already kind of bumped up the tires there. Of course, do you have Starlink? We do have Starlink. Okay, shoot, oh, yeah, have we, to be connected. We got Starlink, so we got that. And one thing, of course, we have our mud tracks because there's been some rain where we're going, so oh. there might be some muddy muddy uh, dirt roads, so we'll oh, see. Oh my gosh. Fingers crossed on that. All right, so it's my job in here to get all of this <laughs> organized. And let's see, are you guys gonna help me? To, oh, that is as much help as I'm getting. Hi, are you gonna help mommy? Are you, oh, she's helped me already. She's giving herself a bath. All right, so I had to do this. Now, initially, we were afraid to pull up the itinerary because I figured if I saw the itinerary first, I know there are beautiful places, but I'm so nervous that I probably would have talked you out of it. <laughs> what is the itinerary called? All right, it's called Echo Trek Valley of the Gods. I like that, Valley of the Gods. Valley of the Gods. Cool. Looks like here's the itinerary. So we are going to drive to Gooseneck State Park. That's the plan today. Wow, find a spot to camp. Um, and Gooseneck's supposed to be really pretty. They're kind of looking over the canyon, yeah. I think, and the, the river down below. And what you guys don't know is our friend Greg, who, you know, is former military, he's kind of the one that's organizing this, has an echo, and I'm sure he's going to be very comfortable going to those, like, oh, yeah. um, creepy roads that, you know. I'm excited for some nice dirt roads. I That's know. Fun. <laughs> this is all overlanding. Like, there's no plugs, no hookups, total boondocking. Total boondocking. So that's going to be fun. And you're right, complete overlanding. Our first destination. Oh boy, oh boy, it's just the meetup, and there's already three here. Three ready to rock, three ready to roll. We're kind of ready to go. 
I think we're all set. There was a surprise kind of thrown on top of it. This looks like one of the coolest ones of them all. I mean, look at that, that pulley system, that track looks beastly. And then of course, there is a little surprise on all of the rigs here. Look at this. This is an, an echo has been geckoed. Who do we have here? Kate. Hi, this is Kate. Guys, look. Who do we have here? Susie. Susie. Who do we have here? Hi, Lulu. Lexi. Hi, Susie. And who do we have here? Greg. This is Greg, the maestro. <laughs> who are you? I'm Malcolm. Oh. <laughs> I, I like how you said that. I'm Malcolm. <laughs> <laughs> So when I, when I mention everybody's RVs are sort of fitted for this trip, I'll show you what I mean. Every RV has that lift that we put on here. So everyone here got the Quigley lift, raised them up, got beefier tires. I think we all have very similar to the same thing. Let me show you. Right there, that's ours. You can kind of see, we kind of seen this in other videos. But if you roll across that signature yellow, so you can already see it from a distance. There's Greg's right there, the beefier tires. Yep, there's that signature yellow with the beefier tires. And then of course you have, that's a different one. Oh, interesting. And just like that, we are off. And it's pretty cool, they gave us radios. Everybody now has like a radio to communicate so I you can't it. get lost. Robert Ducky, you're the one. <laughs> it's the gecko, he's more fun. <laughs> several stops really kind of scenic stops just about at our destination was it gooseneck right yeah gooseneck state park i think it's gonna be a beautiful overlook ah uh, but 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 it's the road to get there that's what i'm afraid of the road to get there it's beautiful but we're on the edge i'm on the edge of following so this is where we're going to be calling home for the next few nights i don't know if i get any closer to the edge because this is kind of soft and looks like it's cracking there. But this is home tonight. I think we're all trying to determine right now where we're all gonna kind of fit and snuggle in here. And there's two other people, which are part of the group that are here right now. So I'm excited to see where we're all gonna end up. We're all trying to figure out the parking situation right now. So, hi. hi. So who do we have here? Elizabeth. Brian. Hey, see it's gonna be, it's gonna be quite the uh, trek. These two are the wildest ones of the group. I just must tell you that right now. Good morning. So woke up this morning and I just have to tell you guys this. Our Brady, our cat Brady, is having some issues. I think he's constipated early this morning uh, or late last night. He was um, meowing a little bit and not his unusual meow. But when I went close to him to pet him, he meowed and that's not like him. I tried to comfort him. Um, we're actually out in the middle of nowhere so I could not figure out what we need to do. But today we're gonna be taking him to uh, a veter veterinarian, uh, either in Kaibab or Flagstaff. And uh, he's just not, um, he's there, he's looking at me. I think it's either constipation, I don't know, but he's just giving me the look. And he's, now he just won't leave his litter box. He's just kind of in his litter box and this is where he feels comfortable right now, but I'm trying to be strong for him, you know? I'm trying to be that strong person for him. I know Bailey, uh, even she seems a little upset this morning, so he's young, he's only like nine years old. So I think it's probably more constipation because he's been eating a lot of dry food. So we're gonna get him to the vet to assess that and then uh, we we'll are have to cut this trip short because right now he's much more important than this trip. We're gonna get you better, buddy. We're gonna get you better, mommy's buddy. So we're on our way now to uh, Moab where we found a, a vet for um, that'll take Brady in um, to check him out. And uh, truth be told, we wanted to kind of come on and I wanted to share this with you, Dave and myself, because Brady is a part of our family and a part of you know our journey. And so letting you know, um, bring you into our lives like we do, this is just another part of it. Yeah, so we made it. There's, there's 
the little guy right there. And Bray Bray. Right. Fortunately, this place is really nice so far, and they have yeah. like, you know, good reviews and and able to kind of bring him in. Just makes us feel so much better. Yes. All right, so let's get him inside. Yeah. Get that going. Oh, in there. Hey, also, they just took Brady in for uh, x-rays right now just to kind of assess. And kind of at this point, we're just hoping it's more of a, a constipation than anything urination because I just, I just want I just want it to be okay, you know? So, and I'm sorry for the emotional side of this. And it probably makes it hard to hear me, but I just keep him in your thoughts, you know? going forward and um we'll keep you posted but right now he's an excellent he's, he's just a little scared I mean, so far we feel good about the place oh yeah they've been no really doubt. helpful really kind and um, they took took them right in for yeah. x-rays so. yeah so that's a it makes you feel good especially not knowing this is your right. first place or, you know a different area but good recommendation so it's all scary too i know you're going for the x-rays and stuff <laughs> waiting. all right thank you Sure. So uh, we're back outside right now in the RV. Um, they're going to keep him in for testing. Um, and they told us to call back in a couple hours or come in in a couple hours to check on him. So right now it's just a waiting game. But So I'm trying to keep busy uh, catching up on some um, work, which always helps my mind to get my mind off of things. So yeah, I'm going to be posting some things on Instagram, um, responding back to a lot of our Patreon family. And if you're wondering how Bailey's doing right now, well, she is trying to stay calm because her brother is not here right now. And now Dave is keeping her calm, doing the thing that he does well and what she loves the best, belly rubs. So update, we got Brady back. Um, and it looks right now that we are very fortunate um, they really haven't shown much in his x-rays. They said his white blood cells are a little elevated, but they gave us antibiotics So we're gonna give those to him uh, monitor him tonight. We're gonna camp at a spot here um, That's called what Ken's Lake Ken's Lake. Yeah, just outside the town of uh, well, Just just outside the town of Moab. Yeah, yeah. Echo in the wild it is it's called Echo Echo, Echo yes, Look. Well, its name is name his name is Timber Timber, Timber. But we have Echo for the place Took Brady back to the vet this morning because Brady was clearly still in pain in his back area. So we took him back to the vet. The vet really felt his whole hind area. And what we think now is that Brady probably fell out of the bed back down and hit hard on the floor and really bruised that area. We hope it's not more than that. The x-ray didn't show any breaks or anything like that, but the vet gave us some pain medication for Brady and some anti-swelling medication. So we gave Brady that. She said to just kind of check on him over the next few days. If it doesn't get better, we'll have to go back in for an MRI. So we're back uh, with our Echo Caravan. You can kind of see behind got the crew here. We're gonna ride some washes today to check out some ruins in the area. Okay, so before I get completely engulfed in the nervousness of this area that we're heading into right now, we're heading to a spot called Butler Wash. So where the group was yesterday was Valley of the Gods, and that's where we weren't able to, to make uh, due to Brady. But this one is supposed to be really interesting. There's supposed to be switchbacks. So far, the roads are really washboardy, and we are just getting started. But everybody's doing great. I'm watching all the other echoes just wobble and shake. Uh -huh. we're all, we're ooh, we're look all at that one. Together. We're all wobbling together like seesaws. <laughs> so how are you doing so far? How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. great. I gotta say that first dip, I was like, holy crap. Oh we're gonna my God. We're Oh! Gonna, we're gonna basically, you know, scrape out our bike rack. I'm, wor I'm worried about the bike rack because it creates a little more length for us. And yeah. so those really sharp dips. How are you feeling now? I'm feeling great. How's I mean, your adrenaline flowing? Because my adrenaline is always. Like, my adrenaline feels like I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm just nervous, please. The kitties are back there just chilling. Yeah, Brady's chilling. kind of just in his own comfy bed area. Bailey's in her crate. And I'm um, just peeing in my pants. Just, just a little bit. Just but a now, little trickle. Now, if Tanya were driving, she'd be like having a ball of a time. That's probably a ball of true. Time. But Maybe on the way out you I'm drive. not. So, oh my God, pay attention. All right, never mind. Hold on, pay attention. Woo -hoo, woo. All right, so far it has been good to feeling like you're on a roller coaster to a little bit of a dip and 
Oh my goodness, I think we may. They're actually right now, they're off looking right now to see if there's a spot. One went that way, another one over that way past Dave. Um, to see if we can find a camp spot. I hope so because what up ahead, I'm sorry I'm making this a little shaky, but I'm also nervous, but up ahead looks like it might be a big Road. downhill. Road to nowhere. So it looks like we're still trying to find a spot. Now I'm thinking, is it because it's we have we have six of us? Yeah, we got six uh, echoes we gotta find a home for. Oh. Now Greg went off this way, I can't even see him. Wow. So I don't know where he went. It looks like it could be a good area though, so fingers crossed. Oh, I hope so. But, I'm but this is so much fun, right? It'll be fun. Oh, I'm, I'm really loving this it. This is so much fun. You're doing a yeah. fantastic Thanks, job. Guys. So are you. You're helping out so much. It's awesome. <laughs> Woo, okay, so I think we have found a place that we're going to call home. So our leader, Greg, has a... Uh... <sighs> okay, oh my gosh, as I'm talking to you, look what's the level is to the right. Oh, that is... Oh my God. Oh, I think we may have a spot that we can call home for the night. That's right. Uh, so, oh my gosh, and Dave, you're doing such a great job. So tonight the music is rocking. I can see them all right there dancing. So we're gonna get a little of that on camera because now the cocktails are starting to come out. Ooh, the sun is bright and shining in my face. And uh, it's gonna be a good night tonight. This is the first one right here. There we go, guys. All right, numero uno. All right, so this one is called, this is green sauce, sauce green, okay. And that's the first one out of all these down here. This is the first one? Okay. Oh, that's a good idea. As much as you want. Load it up at the first one. You can do it. Not bad, right? Tastes that good. good. That's good. Yeah, this is three through ten. And this yeah. is the really, really hot <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, that was like four drops. Dave is up, you guys. Dave is up. Let's see. Oh, ooh. Oh. All right. How is that, Dave? I think it's number eight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a lot. Don't worry. The hospital is very close by. You ready? Yes. Oh man, I cannot believe you did that. Oh, what wow. do you think? How is that? I'm good. Keep chilling. There we go. There we go. Uh, One, two, oh, three. That's, that's four. three, right? There that's we go. a lot, dude. That's not just three drops. Okay, that's don't talk. Make sure you chew it all. Chew it slow. Oh, there he goes. We'll be back to you in just a second. <laughs> Every time you go up in one, you have to add that many drops, typically. So you go one, then you go one, two, then you go one, two, three, and there's a field one. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's not too bad, babe. You can do, I think you do the whole thing. Yeah, hold on a second. That's not ten. I got this. I'll do one more. I'm, I'm actually okay with spice. Wait, the where's the number seven? Here we go. There we go. You got this. You wait until you make sure I do it? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Back off! <laughs> Not too shabby. Not bad, right? I think the secret is keep chewing. Good nice job, everyone. Round of applause. Everyone give a round of applause. Come on. Come on. Good morning, good morning. So, quick update on Brady. Brady's doing better. He still is a little skittish and his eyes seem dilated and I think it's because of the medication, but he seems to be getting better, which is a great sign. Today we're heading out. This is it, the last day. And it's gonna be an interesting one because if you remember how kind of sketchy some of the roads were um, as we got into this beautiful area in Butler Wash, we have a long way to go. I think almost 20 miles before we get out of here. So I don't know what that's gonna look like. Um, I am definitely nervous and trying to like hold it down and be positive and but boy am I nervous we've never been on anything like this in our lives and I will honestly say I probably would not ever do something like this if it weren't for being with this amazing group that we're with because they've opened up our eyes to like not only caravanning but to pushing your limits because like that saying goes you know some of the most beautiful destinations are the hardest to get to and that is this right here now it's just a matter of getting out which will make it feel even more complete Oh my goodness gracious. All right, so how are we, how are you feeling? I mean, we have what, 20 yeah, probably, miles we, on this? We probably have, yeah, 15 to 20. And uh, I don't know, right now it's been great. Like kicking off, we're making some distance. Yeah. The I roads are in great condition, so this is fun.
I definitely have to get this one here. So this is our first real muddy section where we got to rush and run right through it. So I'm going to watch the boys get through and whew, here we go. Oh, baby. What? <laughs> Keep going back more. Go back more. He's got to get a better run. He's getting deep, you know. Yeah. Back up. Well, you guys, maybe he can come. What yeah. do you think about coming yeah. through go here for, and then loop the back around? So the boys are actually right now, uh, we have one more to get through Elizabeth and, and they're going to put some, right now they're putting some, uh, shoveling some of this drier mud and they're putting it into a hole. Walk this way! Talk this way! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, that was quite the uh, oh mutter gosh. experience. So, <laughs> oh man. Mutter. Oh my gosh, my hands are like full of dirt Just with that. my nails. It's like part of the family now. But yeah. Oh boy. man. Boy. Try to drive like at a good pace. Like at right? a good pace. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh my god! Right. Holy sh We made it! Oh my god, I had to say it. I'm so sorry y'all. But Hi. this is crazy! Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Oh my god! It's kind of scary because we don't know what's around the next bend, right? Because we've never don't. driven it before, so no. it's like, can you get through the next no. bend? No, and look, we're like right here. We're, we're right. We're right. We are so close. We're so close. We're this close. We're so close. Like, stay focused, stay focused. Okay. So we just finished up our overlanding adventure. That was unbelievable. And actually, as we came out, there's some old ruins, Native American ruins, um, up this way. It's about a half mile down this path, so we're gonna check it out. How you doing, babe? Oh. A little bit of kind of adrenaline relief now. Yes, definitely adrenaline relief. Um, I have the words at the moment. <laughs> kind of soaking in all of this, and the fact that we we did it. Oh my God. It's quite an adventure. Ooh, it's getting windy. It is windy. It's incredible though here. These cliff dwellings were built by the Anasazi Indians about 700 years ago. And the ruins are scattered you know, throughout the whole area. You can find them all over the place. And this is just an incredible representation here, isn't it? It's, it's so cool. gorgeous. Oh, I just want to quickly mention this rock that we're standing on. It's I'm, I'm actually standing on an old reef and this is very, very cool. And we noticed this kind of as we're driving uh, along the our adventure that this reef this massive it's reef incredible right it used to be under the ocean under the ocean Unreal. and now i'm standing on here it is walking on an old I'm walking old reef. On the reef now. <laughs> don't go too far no, that's <laughs> Good morning, Bobby. Good morning, Mommy's Bobby. How are you feeling, big boy? 
so quick Brady update. We're going to be taking him to another vet, um, one in the area around uh, Vegas, uh, just for a second opinion. You know, he's one of our co-pilots, part of the gang here. So we're, we're going to be checking him out just to make sure everything's okay and he's getting better or there's something that we should do. But I, I also have to say this in more positive light. Wow, what a incredible trip, an overlanding trip. Our first one, it was crazy. Oh, it was amazing. And it, what an amazing group of fellow caravanners, right? Just so much fun. It was great. The friendships were, we made from our yeah. little group that will continue on and on and more adventures, I'm sure, in the future. This is it, first big full-time RV road trip adventure with the kitties. And uh, not sure how this is gonna go, but we're excited to give it a shot. And I see one coming. There comes Bailey. Oh, Bailey. Coming in. Here comes big boy. This is Brady. Oh, Brady, you ready? You ready, Brady? Oh, come on, bud. You're going to be. Oh, he's a bad boy. <laughs> Somebody's already comfortable. Hi, Bailey. Thank you, baby. First glass of water from the new Berkey. First sip of the Berkey water. <laughs> Cheers to an awesome trip. Awesome trip, babe. Let the adventures begin. Here we go. Ready or not, here we go. believe we're actually leaving Las Vegas like we're by Vegas cross country here we come can yeah. you believe it oh it, like hitting the road it felt like we were just uh, packing up everything in here but we'll probably look back and say man we packed way too much stuff because <laughs> this thing is jammed up this is jammed up yeah. <laughs> but I'm excited it's gonna, oh, be, yeah. it's gonna be a, an amazing experience first up is yeah. Zion right yeah heading to Zion it's what's about, the park called uh, yeah, we're going to an RV park there called Zion River Resort. Ooh. So, so it's going to be nice. Yeah. It's uh, it's right there, just outside the park, and then you kind of go on in and experience the park. So. Nice. And we do have our America's Beautiful Pass, so you can go yes. and explore Zion freely. And how long is it going to take? Well, well it From says, here to get Yeah, it says about two hours, but I figure the way I'm driving, probably two and a half. <laughs> Countdown, countdown, getting super close. We're about seven miles to the Zion River Resort. Getting there. I know. Right? 14 miles, actually. 14 yeah. miles. And actually, an easy drive from Vegas, right? Super easy. Now, um, I did break something. Oh, no. The induction cooktop. I broke the induction cooktop, so maybe we get uh, there. We can ask it. folks if we could, um, you know, deliver an Amazon and get another one, because that induction cooktop is important right. for me and it's safer for the kitties. All right, so our first fill up, I can't read that. What does that say for me? Half a tank? Uh, 17 gallons, 88 bucks. 17 gallons, 88 bucks. We're just getting started. <laughs> We're just getting started. Oh my god. So one thing about kicking off our trip heading to Zion, it's just really beautiful. It's not a super long drive, so you can kind of warm up to the adventures of the trip. And yeah, there might be a little sticker shocks every so often, like the gas at half tank price, but I'm really excited to see how the kitties handle this, because so far they've been very good. But I also know they're probably just as hungry as we are. So we're just about here. Looks pretty gorgeous. Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, look at that. Oh, wow. Wow, home for the next several nights. First night, hi, look at Bubby. Hi, Bubby. You look so comfy. They're warming up to the RV. Oh, yeah. I think they are ready for snack and bedtime. I think, well, we're ready for bedtime. They may be like, you know, exploring all night. That's true. Oh, that's true. Say hi. Yes, say hello, yes. All right, we'll see you in the morning. Well, bright and early. Nice Good job. Good morning. I know it's like an hour difference. So it's almost 7.30 here, which means it's 6.30 back in Vegas time. So we are cranking, yeah, we're right. up and ready to rock. <laughs> yeah, we got it late last night, but we are off. We're off. Off to Zion. Off to Zion.
First time. The first time. We have to catch a shuttle bus. Yes. Right? Because it's just the easiest way to get there. But it's packed. The 831's packed. So right. This is our option. Here we go. Uh, we made it. <laughs> just in time. All right, free shuttle once you get in the park. Yes, and it's uh, stop five, but we're going to the Emerald Pools, which is supposed to be really nice, right? Yeah, it's, uh, we're kind of just kicking oh, off exploring. Shit. Our first uh, time exploring in Zion, so. <sighs> Breathing in that fresh air. Oh, it's so nice. Do you want to hit the trail first or should we check out the uh well, I think, lodge? Take a lodge. Take a quick sneaky peek Yeah, maybe, the maybe grab another coffee. <laughs> you know me. Found your coffee after yeah, all. Right. Not a bad little cafe here right at the lodge. We were like up so quick this morning to get on the shuttle. So I've got to go to the uh, sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits mm, coming up. Nice. got two of them. Two of them. Right? Of course, a couple of lattes. Hey, I have a lot. Oh, yeah. I'll do the trail. Great little dance <laughs> today. We'll dance on the trail. <laughs> <laughs> Wildlife they speak of in oh, the yeah, that's it. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch <laughs> out. Come on, we're working here. The dancing hyena. <laughs> well, they, the Zion Lodge is pretty cool, I, right? Yes, it is. But if you want to stay there, they said you have to uh, book it well in advance. They're booked through November. I know, right? That's unbelievable. Yeah. What is it, like 13? I guess you can make reservations, what, 13 months, 13 in, months advance. in advance? So, so if you winning? want to stay here, plan well ahead, well far in advance. Yes. Or just do like we do. Get yourself an RV. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> One thing that's great about Zion is that there's trails for everyone. You have really kind of the more basic one here, which is absolutely beautiful, the Emerald Pools Trail. But then you, of course, have some of the most uh, dramatic, difficult ones and scary ones available as well for the more extreme climbers. And that would not be us at the moment. We're just warming up for we're, that. We're warming up for it. <laughs> warming up for it. This is something else. I know. I never expected this to walk back behind here and see. Right. Walk back behind here and see waterfalls with, with flowers and monarch butterflies. This is like a whole other world here, and it's so beautiful. And there's we're just getting started. It's amazing. Look at this. I love how look at the water coming off above. You're kind of walking underneath the waterfall a little bit. So we're at the lower uh, viewpoint of the Emerald Pools, which is absolutely stunning. And there's a couple more tiers you can go up to kind of view them from different perspectives. But this one really is a lot of greenery. It's beautiful. Um, and we're probably gonna explore a little bit more, do you think? I, a little bit more. Yeah. I can see a kind of a cool spot up there. Maybe we'll go up to that ridge right across the top. Ooh, okay. Just a little bit up. Yeah. Level up, level up. Level up, buttercup, level up. Really almost makes you miss camp. I know. Oh <laughs> like, man. Hey, Harry, you must be up at camp in New Hampshire. Like, just the air. I mean, obviously, it doesn't oh. have this around it, but boy, the greenery, the vegetation, gorgeous. Oh, that's amazing. And it, it's funny, you hear voices. You think they're right around the corner, but it's like sound just travels. Hello! Through the gorge. So I think, babe, worth the uh, hike? Oh, for sure. I could sit here with a little lunch and enjoy just the sounds of the water crashing on the rocks here. I love it. And it's refreshing to beat that heat. <laughs> yes. 
The crowds are definitely starting to roll in now. Yeah, which it's is getting a little bit later. We get here really early. I mean, we got here probably a little after about 7:45. Yeah. So I think it's important to get here early because then you can enjoy this without the crowds. Okay, so I see a little bit of a trail, Dave, off that direction. Those horses. You want to go check them out? Absolutely. Let's go check out the horses. Oh, we're, we're kind of actually on the trail, so watch out because there is some horse love scattered about here. But this is beautiful. Look at the water. It's so beautiful. Yeah, the horses go right on through the uh, river there. So this is a really great opportunity that you guys can come down here and enjoy. It's you can ride horses here. There's a three hour ride and there's a, an hour ride. And the hour ride, we just talked to several folks that just jumped on the ride here. They had such an incredible time. You kind of go through the river and uh, it's like 50 bucks a person, right babe? Yeah, it doesn't that seem too bad. Not bad at all. It's well worth it, hey guys. I have an idea for you. After that great day, I think we should stop over and get some food and maybe a little beer. Ooh, and where are we gonna do that? Well, maybe at the Zion Brewery. <laughs> All right, so which beer are we going with? I don't know the name of it. It's a special that they have here, but it's a light and crispy. A light and crispy seasonal beer, which sounds kind of like the beer we like. It. That's so. true, not too Not too hoppy. hoppy. Little wimpy. Right. <laughs> little wimpy, got that right, little wimpy. So you uh, feeling some apps? I am feeling an app in particular. Yeah, uh, one that she mentioned, our waiter, waitress, she said uh, the chicken wings are supposed to be dynamite here, so I'm ready for some chicken wings, little mess. To be full transparent, this is round two. <laughs> What you got going on over here? Is that while I'm hooking up the cable, baby? Oh, first time ever using the cable. Like, we really are. This is probably more for fun because we really never right. use the cable. It's interesting because there's like a little rubber piece ah. that you kind of have to fold into. It probably uh, keeps it from getting wet. Exactly. I love the. <laughs> the little gloves. <laughs> I love the gloves. Got to keep the uh, snakes away. Oh, jeez. Lizards. Mm. Let's see if it works. All right, let's try it. Right, here we go. So, input. Maybe we go to TV. Let's see. Let's see if it works. Let's see what happens. Oh, the cable works. We got TV. Uh, if we want to watch it. Uh, what do you think, birthday boy? Okay, someone is clearly not interested. <laughs> when it comes to full-time RV living, we're definitely rookies on the road. But I got to tell you, this is a great start. Coming here to Zion, what a beautiful spot. Being here with Tanya is amazing. And our two kitties. It's really great having the kitties here really kind of completes the family, which is so awesome. Really looking forward to it. And it's really time to get cooking. So we're gonna get this grill fired up. Ooh, so what you got going on over here? More fire. More fire. Yeah. Another simple dinner though, just turkey burgers tonight. Like it. Right? Sometimes simplicity is nice. Yeah, it's fine with me. And it's not, you know, it's not too bad for you, turkey burgers, right? I love it. Get a little healthier. Cold night tonight. A little. <laughs> Surprising. <laughs> right? It's like, you feel like we're back in uh, winter camping. Oh, I know. It totally feels like we're back it's in like winter camping. It's like windy and uh, <laughs> it got quite cold. I actually had to put the hood up because right? it's that cold. <laughs> the wind's still blowing. Beatles love my hey. Little chicken burger. Is it delicious or is it dry? That's pretty good. Yeah, buddy. You made a nice uh, thick turkey burger. Keeps that moisture in, see ya? Oh. Get a glimpse of that. Oh, kind of that. kind of a non-brioche bun. <laughs> non-brioche bun. <laughs> yeah. Looks delicious. Nice job, babe. All and right. Fire nice, nice is job. Raging. Fire is nice. It's warm. Yeah, I need it. <sighs> Looks like it's about 6.30. Hey, Siri. What's the weather outside? It's currently clear and 48 degrees. Whoa. Hey, babe. Yeah. Good morning. So I know we weren't thinking about going to the Narrows today, but it's yeah. 48 degrees out there. Ooh. That is, that's going to be a little chilly. I know, you're right. walking in a river for like, you know, miles. <laughs> it's exactly. Like, it's going to be freezing at your feet. Yeah. So. Um, you, what do you think? Um, we could certainly do it another time yeah. as well. It seems a little cold now. You almost want to do it when it's nice and hot. And yeah. So it's more refreshing. I agree. Right? I agree. All right, so I have to stay accountable. As promised, this 
long road trip i'm gonna try and do some form of exercise every day to stay accountable to losing weight and being focused and creating great energy and a great mindset so first things first pop up stretch and then go for a bike ride or a walk Woo, good morning good morning let's try this again so we are still here in Bergen, Utah. It is very, very windy today. Um, it looks like a cold front's come in because it went from literally 100 degrees yesterday to like sweatshirt weather today. But that's not gonna stop me from trying to be a little bit more accountable to my health and my mind. So I'm getting up in the mornings because Dave and I really wanna start doing more hiking adventures. And so I'm gonna try and wake up every morning. I'm gonna have my energy green juice uh, and I'm gonna try and get some exercise in, whether it's a form of walking, maybe going for a swim when it's not so freaking cold, or a bike ride. So today, going for a bike, uh, a walk. I'm going for a walk to really kind of kick things off and maybe even a slow jog, let's see how it goes. But it is cold and I'm excited to kind of get this started. So maybe for the first part of this walk, let's just show you guys a little bit of the campground here. It's actually pretty nice. They have like a gazebo area off in the back there, a place for uh, if you have kids to come, a little playground. Um, and it's just the views are awesome. So if I turn you around here, check this out. We got the mountains way off in the distance, but over there they have uh, which looks like cornhole and then there's some volleyball that you guys can rock and play. They have grills and an outdoor kitchen here. So this is pretty neat. Before I really get going on this power walking sesh, I have a question for you RVers out there. So I find Dave and I, we find ourselves as like RV newbies, constantly like looking at other rigs from like, whoa, those are cool tires. Wow, that's a cool lift. Oh, look at those lights. But we can't be the only one. So do you do that? And as an RV veteran, do you do that? Does it ever stop? Will it ever go away? I don't know. Let us know in the comment section below. All right, let's power trip, power walk. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, getting them ready. I see that. Uh, I've, been, I've been wanting to try these for a while now. I know, much, right? these are much better than the bigger ones we have. These smaller ones actually fit better in the garage uh, no, space. They're, yeah, no, they're perfect for the Echo and for kind of full-time RV living, no doubt about it. And so is uh, yeah, this weather light. right now. I like those actually. All right, well, Hi. let's ride. Let's go ride. I think I see Dave in my rear view mirror. Hey Dave, I see you in the rear view mirror. <laughs> There he is. Ooh. Uh, Smooth like butter. Oh, I've heard that before. <laughs> Ooh. You know, it really looks good. That t shirt on this bike. <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. Had no idea this was up this far. See, just having a little electric bike. I initially thought we we're gonna have to stay on like the main roads, but nope, we did not. We found this really cool little road off the main road, but it gives you like views like this. Like that is amazing. Hey Dave, I'm about to pick some ooh, oh. lunch. Oh, perfect timing. Ooh, perfect this, timing for this lunch. Makes you, this makes you think about lunch. Ew. All right, watch out, babe. Well, yeah, I better better back hey, away from remember that Remember I one. said to not let it get too heavy? Yeah. I let it get too heavy. Yeah. How, how many days is that? Like four days, though? About four days, yeah. Wow, so we had four days in that yeah, little puppy. Here we go. Hit that button. That's and because down. there's no number two. Nice. And there it goes. Down the drain, down the drain. Down the hatch. Hey Dave. Yeah. So this latch, the door is having trouble closing. Ah! Oh no, what's going on? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Like the first, like, <laughs> it's been like two days. I know. Wait a second, what's going on here? All right, so we have a little situation. Dave is actually gonna take a look at the door, but it looks like it's hitting the top. Like it might be a little bowed out or something happened with the frame, maybe the heat. I don't know, but we got to fix this before the next adventure because we have to be able to close that door before we can drive. So where are we at with the door? Yeah, well, I mean, I did push it up a little bit, so it, it is closing. It may not be the perfect fix, but it's working. Okay. So we'll take it. I do. It may have swelled up a bit. I want to have it kind of have that looked at. I'm reluctant to take a hammer to it. Yeah, I, <laughs> I agree. Know? Not yet. It's too yeah. early. Yeah, it's exactly. Early. If you have to take a hammer, maybe we'll take a hammer. <laughs> 
But not today. Not today. Not today. But hey, it's closing now, so that's good. We had a productive day filming today and time to got some editing done on a video you're gonna see very soon. So I think it's time now just to relax a little bit poolside. But it's pretty busy right now here, I gotta say. This is definitely a very kid-friendly pool at the moment. It's like three feet here. I know, it's pretty busy though. Right, I know, busy. it's been super busy. Yeah. Tons of kids. Well, yeah, it's great, it kind of has that feel for family, right? Swimming in the pool. Twisting by the pool. Twisting by the pool. Let me tell you something. One thing about staying in a pool for way too long, which is kind of what we're doing right now, you get really cold and that hot tub is packing up. So I think it's time for us to get out of this pool into something warm and I have a bright idea for tonight. Gotta get back Give to the train. This. Just watch your step. No tripping allowed. We gotta run to the train. Let's see, don't wanna miss the train. We're a little late. A little late, here we go. Just watch your step down these stairs. Be careful, Tiny. Good morning, good morning from Williams, Arizona, just outside of Flagstaff. So today we're very excited. Even though the weather's a little bit on the gloomy side, we are going to explore the Grand Canyon. We have to run because we're at the RV park here and I'll tell you a little bit more about that later, but we have to catch one of the coolest trains you're ever gonna see heading up towards the Grand Canyon. All right, enough time. Wasted, let's go. Woo, it's gonna be a long brisk walk to this train. <laughs> this is the first kind of snow of the season. It's actually snowing a little bit here. I'm not, not sure if you can see it through the uh, video, but it's snowing a little bit and it's chilly. It's chilly. Yeah. And we still have quite a bit of walk. We have to kind of walk all the way over right. there just to catch the train. Exactly. And it's supposed to be a pre-show, right? There is a little, uh, well, we won't give it away. No, we won't just give it away. Stay tuned for a pre-show. Stay tuned for the pre-show if we make it. Here we go. Made the show. We didn't miss it. Exactly. I'm no fine. trains for us. We got to uh, ride horseback. We do. No train today. It's all horseback today. It's all horseback. Okay. So we made it and we have a little bit of time. So we are staying at the RV park here at the Grand Canyon Railway and Hotel. And it's pretty convenient for us to catch this train, even though it's a little bit of a walk. But it's a decent RV park, full hookups. And it has, uh, it's more of a concrete jungle style feel but it has a, a really kind of great vibe and it's close to the brewery. Hello. Hi. Hello, honey. Hi. Oh, okay, you gotta test me out. You think he's eyeing the camera up? Oh, Her name is Magpie. Hi, Magpie. Hi, Magpie. You are beautiful. Probably smell my kitties on me. <laughs> How are you? Look at those eyes. You are so beautiful. How are you? Now, could you just say a few Smile. words for me? Just say a few words for me. Maybe a little teeth. Okay, perfect. I'm Dutch and I'm originally from the Netherlands. And I've been working here with the show for uh, seven years. And uh, well, I've been here in this area since 61. We get snow, ice, cold temperatures. I've been here minus 35. And uh, I've done the show here at uh, minus 17 degrees, all bundled up, of wow. course. Some of my vests are medium, and some of them are uh, uh, extra, extra large. Extra, oh, wow. Of course, I can bundle up there. Well, now. Chief. Chief, right here, it's the first one. Yeah, well, it's the first but the last one. All right, Gordon. All right, 
Okay. So this is the one we're on now? Yeah, we are. Wow, Heading so Chief. Apparently this is the nicest one on the train. Yeah, it's supposed to be a, kind of that classic kind of old Pullman train, I believe. Yeah, well, I hope it's a lot warmer in there than it is out here. It's right, kind of cold out here. So I am going to be opening up the buffet as soon as I get inside, but in the middle of the car, there are drinks available to you immediately. Help yourself. Great, thank you. Thank you. Welcome aboard. Thank you. All right. We're right here. Nice. Yeah. Ooh, so there's beverages available to us immediately. But there's a buffet that's going to be opening up shortly. So it's perfect because right. we didn't have breakfast. We've been rushing around all I morning. I'm hungry. So I'm hungry. Perfect. High five. Ooh, my hands are freezing. Your hands are super freezing. <laughs> Mine too. It's like high five. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> all right. So the journey has begun as you can see probably behind me I'm looking a little silhouette -y, but we're on the train you guys this is amazing so they're about to serve cocktails on the inside there's a buffet that we're about to dive into you can see the breath you see my breath so that is definitely a uh, cold weather alert <laughs> get ready to make your wish and hold your breath <gasps> Maybe it's a perfect time to go get a Bloody Mary. I think it sounds good, babe. Yeah, let's go get a Bloody Mary. Oh, and here she is. All right. Not only Excellent. is she like the best storyteller, but she makes the best spicy. Well, I think I think you heard Bloody spicy Mary. Bloody Mary, and you just uh. She had me at spicy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. We're all gonna want to say a prayer. Mm. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's get on. These have been jostled on the train by A1. <laughs> Oh, it's more like a tizzle. <laughs> oh, what have you found? Chocolate donut. A chocolate donut. That's part of the uh, snack. Case. That's right, a little, little snack bar. You found it too. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff back there. Mm -hmm. Never tried some of that. And check out the different cars here on the train. Now we're in the chief. We're in the chief car. So, Hello. in 1869, there was a man by the name of John Wesley through. Powell, very, very famous explorer, very highly credible and highly esteemed. So much so that they even named a lake after him. Hey, Powell. Hello, how are you? It's a very big lake. We're heading through. Get to the next car. We almost did this one. We almost did this one. This is very cool though. Yeah, hello. Look at all the snow. That's weird. Outside's one thing. Yeah, this is nice. Hello. <laughs> Next to, oh, okay, I know I missed something. So next to the Bright Angel, it's going to be the Bright Angel Trail. I know. We did. They're all up above. They're all up above. Yeah, this is beautiful down here. 
And they have a scenic uh, car above. So this is actually really nice. Really nice. So, got your cocktail. Right. right, and so while the you have the buffet kind of breakfast, which is complimentary, and also the non-alcoholic drinks are complimentary, but these are not, they're only about eight bucks though. Not, not, not terrible. Yeah, look at the size right. of the glass. Right, yeah. And uh, made with a lot of care. A lot of care and love. It's right? like personalized just for you. Yeah, very nice. Right? Very, very beautiful. It's a beautiful drink. You know great. I had to go for it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, David. Bloody Mary. Spicy Bloody Mary. Mmm, that's refreshing. Best is always yet to come, I tell you. And so it's back to reminiscing with my liquid friend. So many reasons to get better As time goes by it gets harder to Keep your head above water So apparently there's a famous boulder about to pass that was struck by lightning. I believe they call it Star Boulder or something like that. It's supposed to be really beautiful so hopefully we will spot it and we'll be able to share it with you. Hey, what, what's that stone called? Um, Stonehenge. Stonehenge. Star, we're, Star Rock. We're coming Star up to Star Rock. Star Rock. Star Rock. Anyway, Here we go. Where is it? So, oh, there's the old, the old house. Yeah, it should be up here somewhere. Some of this. Oh, oh there's the house. The there's a building out there. She said something about the building. Okay, we might finally be here. What do you think? Uh, mile 60. Well, we've been trying to see Lightning Rock or Star Rock, but uh, no luck so far. I think actually we may have been biased, so sorry about that. Look! Real snow! I know, we got snow. Snowball fight! Snowball fight! Snowball fight! We can have the snowball fight! Hi. So we're in Wyandotte has lunch, I guess the bus tour, whatever it's called. Okay. Grant. Yay! Okay. Thank you. We're, we're headed to, head to, to Grant. All right. So after the train, we jumped on the Grand Tour bus tour. First stop is lunch, lunch, and we are hungry. So definitely excited for that. Some fajitas, apparently. Chicken fajitas. You have your choice of chicken, chicken. or chicken. <laughs> exactly, chicken, chicken, and fajitas. <laughs> it works for us, though. And here's our view out the window <laughs> or something like that. Nice view. Yeah, that's oh, going to get better. <laughs> so what do you think? I am pretty pleased. I think this is going to be, this is going to do just the trick. You know, it's not too much, but at the same time, it's the perfect amount before kind of heading off on this little tour adventure. Now, I did ask the, the bus driver if we're going to stop and get off and see different things, and he said yes. So I think it looks wonderful. I'm pretty pleased with the look. Here we go. Good I try. think Dave's hungry, you guys. I saw the eyes kind of. Good try. Nice job. That's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. great. It's really great. 
so really quick we the day has been going by so fast and we've been having a lot of fun connecting with the staff on both the train and the bus so far but what we haven't done is giving you a breakdown on terms of how this all works and costs i figure the person to give you the best explanation of how this works is dave so take it away dave now if you're interested in the grand canyon railway head over to the website and you'll see right away that there's actually six different classes to choose from. Now we decided to book the most luxurious car on the way up called the Luxury Parlor. There's also a Luxury Dome as well. Both are the same price, $113 each way. And the good thing is you can actually split it up. So the way up, we took the Luxury Parlor. Now for the way back, we're going to take actually the most basic class called the Pullman Car which is the most basic, it's $33.50 each way. And so that luxury coach that we are on, it does come with, incorporated in that price, is the snack cart that you get, unlimited snack cart, as well as the soft drink and beverage, excluding alcoholic cocktails. If you want those, that's an additional fee. But you can just see the energy, um, the coach that we we're in, she had wonderful stories to tell, and it just made the trip much more, more exciting to be able to go outside and to, because we were in that luxury coach, have the choice of going outside on the back observation desk, which was deck, which is beautiful. <laughs> the desk. <laughs> Let's try it again. Deck. <laughs> now, when you arrive at the Grand Canyon, you can actually go off on your own, but they also offer bus tours as well. And we decided to take the Grand Tour bus tour, which costs $59 per person. It also includes lunch. You can actually do the one that doesn't include lunch, I think it's called the Freedom Tour. I think it's about $43 per person. Lunch. Lunch. <laughs> All right, so we're at the first stop on the bus at Yaki Point. What do you think, babe? I think it's beautiful. Oh, right. it's not a bad view. No, not at all. You ready for a little, uh, little cliff diving? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go you as ready? far as the cliff, yeah. Here we go. That's good. Oh, you don't have to go all the way there. <laughs> you can turn around and say, smile for the camera. Camera. Smile and wave. And put on the squirrel suit and we kind of go diving in. <laughs> <laughs> kind of head on down here. And they do a backflip off the end. All right, so stop number two. Where are we at? I don't know. I'm not <laughs> sure what this is called. Right here, that's the it's pretty amazing view though. Gotta, you gotta <laughs> this is spot number two. Holy moly, look at this. Yikes. Whoa. That's pretty far down there. I definitely am feeling a little of the, uh, I just kind of got a little, ran down some steps and Got a little winded, so 7,000 feet, you do feel a little bit of the altitude. Right, yeah, you definitely do. Mm, with the fresh air. What do you think, babe? I think this is an absolutely beautiful spot. Very serene. I'm kind of on the edge, which I've never actually have come this close to the edge before. This is probably as far as they will ever go, but it's just, it's a beautiful spot. It almost looks like uh, I'm connected with nature in more ways than one. Oh, these views are breathtaking while I'm trying to catch my breath. Literally, they are breathtaking. And there's a little plaque up here. So we have here. So this is the Kaibab Trail Suspension Bridge. Whoa, that's amazing. And Dave's right to think you can actually hike down up into that mile deep. El Tovar. Come on, 
It looks really cold on the outside. It was built in 1903. Oh, wow. Well, completed in 1905. Started in 1903, I guess. Wow. That's amazing. Now on a cold day like this, this made a lot of sense. Oh, it did. Perfect choice. I didn't know where to find you. I'm kind of looking around. Where's Dave? And I'm like, I look over and he's like, Tanya, over here. And you picked a great spot. It's nice and toasty here. Yeah, the El Tovar Cocktail Lounge. Nothing wrong with that. Is it a cocktail lounge? That's what they said. Oh, look okay. Look at that. What's over there? That looks like a bar. Looks like a bar to me. But they serve food. Yes. Thank God. Think about this. <laughs> Some chili that looks good. I'm gonna try some of that, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, I may try some chili as well. I mean, nothing like nice hot chili on a brisk, cold day. But this place is really cute. We're easy, we're easy. We're very easy to please. Well, I'm excited for this meal because I am a bit hungry and it'll save us from cooking tonight because it's gonna exactly. be cold tonight. And look at this view. I'll tell you, babe, this is gonna be perfect. Right, beef and pork uh, chili with a little tortilla as well. Nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna dive right in. How about I'm gonna put it around right here? Why, why not? I'm curious to see if it's good spicy. It looks like it's a little kick to it. Nah, we'll see. Ready? Let's do it. Right on the tortilla. Oh, that crunch. That crunch is a great mm. start. Mm. <laughs> good. It's yeah. not, I don't think it's spicy at all. Um, maybe it hasn't hit yet, but it's not too spicy. Nice flavor, really. That beef and pork really jumps out at you. You have some extra cheddar coming too, which is gonna be nice. So, all in all, good stuff. Perfect cheddar. Comfort food. Comfort food. All right. So this is a fall '75. I'm gonna read it from the menu so I don't get it wrong. But it has a Christian Brothers brandy, sparkling cider, orange juice, maple syrup, champagne, and orange bitters. It looks like a little rosemary sprig on the side. Mmm. Actually, smells like fall. That's really good. The maple syrup is not strong in the cider. You can taste the cider, but it's delicious. I'm gonna have to give it one of my. It's so good, delicious. Tanya. Wow, get down. Get down. Prickly pear, boy. <laughs> I got my prickly pear, my prickly. Should I try it for you? Yeah, I think so. It's an awfully pretty one. Just give it? you the pretty example. I always get the pretty drinks. You can actually potty on the train. What? We better go. Oh, yeah, let's go. You can potty on the train. We gotta move. We gotta get to the train. Time to get to the train. Oh, Time to move. Oh, Time to move. Can't miss the train. We can't miss the train. It always turned out bad. And the TV keep on telling. Gotta get back to the train. You wanna carry that? Yeah. I can carry that. Okay. You go. Okay. Just watch your step. No tripping allowed. We gotta run to the train. Let's see, I don't want to miss the train. We're a little late. A little late. Here we go. Just watch your step down these stairs. Okay. Be careful, Tanya. There we go. Don't move, train. Don't go. All right. We'll be huffing and puffing. Okay, that was good. Okay, we ran. That's good. Okay, walk the rest. I know. Look at that. And that's not blow. So that, that's not like uh, Hollywood snow where they blow it on. That's like real stuff. <clears throat> All right. More stairs. Okay, At least it's down. At least it's down. Last set of stairs. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. They wouldn't leave us here, right? I don't think so. They wouldn't leave us here. Um, 
well. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they would. Maybe they actually. Would. Look no, at those. They wouldn't. they wouldn't leave us. I love those double decker dome ones. Those are so cool. Oh, those are really nice. Yeah, that's a luxury dome. Luxury dome. And they're all across. Yeah, well, you have the luxury dome and then you have kind of the basic dome. Oh, okay. The luxury dome is pretty sweet. Ah. Right, so if you don't do the luxury parlor, you do the luxury dome. Dome. Right. If you want to go like full scale luxury. True. If you want to go full scale luxury. All right, we made it. All right. There is, but not that one. <laughs> so the Grand Canyon Visitor Center? Yeah. Grand Canyon Railway. Here we go, time for the trip home. So we have made it now, of course, as we said, on the way back here, we're on the, uh, just the basic uh, Pullman train, which is the basic one, 3350, where we did the luxury um, parlor one on the way, way up here. Hello. Good, thank you. Look just like my dad. Every time I wag my tongue, it always turns out bad. Here's the Pullman. This is our car, or at least one of them. The Pullman car. It's gonna feel like being on a New York train. No. You're gonna sing across from each other. Yeah. Year, except just older version. Right. Hello, sir. Hi. Heading on in. I am Craig with the railroad, and don't put this on Facebook. I got warrants. All right, that's Craig right there, everybody. I'm kidding. Like <laughs> All right, coming in. Come on, Roman. So it's quite different than this morning's train yes. ride, right? So we're down all the way at the other end to experience sort of the luxury line. And now we're here at the Pullman side to kind of see what the other end of the train is like. Now we've heard if there was a 15 car uh, yeah, in the, in, the, in the peak months. Summer, peak yeah. months, it goes way down there. So you can imagine how much further we would have had to walk had we gotten here midsummer. So thank God we're not here. Midsummer. This is a, we're, we're on the party. This is a party one. Party one. All right, so we're gonna give this one more try. We're gonna try to find the rock that was struck by lightning with Star Rock. Supposedly, it's right off here. On the side. We're on our way back now. So this is gonna be round two. Yeah, I'm keeping my eye out as we're talking just so we right. don't miss it. And it's supposed to look like a rock with a starburst. Now, one person said it's uh, old wise tale, and another person says it's thanks, Craig. Another person says that it's on this side here. Right. So we're gonna... And and if you keep your eyes out too, if you see it, uh, you mean, let us uh, know in the comments yeah, below. Yeah, what time stamp? Time, time stamp it too. Okay, yeah, All right, let's the, give it a try. Search is uh, on. Son of a southern man, daughter of a free man, children of the Civil War. Blackbird on a limb, both of them diving in deeper than they've been before. And who oh, oh, down a red dirt path, covering their tracks, strangers in the light of day. Can't fight, it can't stop, and if they get caught, it's gonna be hell to pay. So baby, meet me down by the road, no quiver with the cool dark water meets the full moonlight. If we can sneak away, maybe we could be together. Marker, and that way I could tell people to be looking out. So you, so you, you tell you, our folks that we're past you it. You think you already passed it? Yeah. Really? But you I got a bit. I got busy. We're, we're you don't even too. know where it is, though. So how do you know we passed it? Uh, because uh, no. the landscape that I'm looking at now, yeah. we're past the landscape where it is. The landscape oh. where it is is mountainy so we need to go and rocky. And I'll back. see if he'll reverse. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, that, that's, a, that's an 0 for 2 that right there. That's an 0 for 2. That, that's, Hi. that's not a good batting well, average. Well, well, you know what? We, ha we have to... They've always traveled well. Like, so I hear we're about to get robbed. Well, um, I'm gonna hide my dollar. I'm gonna hide the dollar right here. You'll never find it. I got nothing. 
Uh, they got nothing. Some, uh, uh -oh. Dirty, crusty criminals on stolen horses out here. You'll be seeing them shortly. Uh oh. We should be just fine as long as this train doesn't stop. Uh oh. Dave, be on the lookout. These are coming. I'm looking for them. I'm, I'm hiding all the money are you right hiding now. You're going to hide the money. I'm hiding hide the, hide hide, the money. Hide it right there. Yeah, hide, uh, hide it's pretty well hidden. Hide it up. Hide it up. Yeah. <laughs> They're never, they won't get to find nothing. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see them coming. Oh, boy. Oh. Where are they? Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. oh boy. Oh, oh. oh, boy. oh, oh. Trouble. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. There's someone on the train. What the fuck is money? Full of money. Jewelry. Gold teeth. No gold teeth. Oh yeah. Oh boy. What is that? That was a lot of fun. Yes, it was. What a great way to explore the Grand Canyon. Now, the Grand Canyon Railway is definitely worth a try. Yes. It's a great family experience, too. Big time. There are okay. lots of kids yeah. just really enjoying the experience. Exactly. And a lot of fun. The conductors, staff, amazing job. Yeah, and I love the dynamic between that luxury cart and then yes. going to the Pullman, which is the basic cart. And I felt like it was still a great vibe. You know, obviously, you don't get that snacks, free snacks and unlimited in the, the Pullman cart. Right. But the energy and the conductors and the folks were all amazing. Right. I feel like there's an experience for everyone and also kind of a cost point for everyone as well. Absolutely. Now I am freezing. Yes. It's cold. I am uh, definitely feeling a little bit hungry. Just a little. But I think it's probably time to go cuddle up and watch a movie. Don't I, think? Well, I think a little popcorn movie night. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. I think the movie started guys. Where are they? Where are they? <laughs> Add the effects! Add the effects, man! <laughs> hey guys, so we're all packed up. We're out to hit the road. We have a 1,500 mile road trip heading deep into the heart of Texas through some amazing state park. Ready, babe? I am so ready. Deep in the heart of Texas. Hey, Grogu can't have a road trip in desert snow without Grogu, but of course, he's got a mascot. Mmm, gecko. We are off, 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 and excited, but we have to stop first for gas, and we, I feel like we're down familiar roads again, like Kingman. Exactly, back again. <laughs> back again, but you know what? probably a much better spot to get gas than it would be in Nevada. Ooh, there it is, y'all. Back on, let's go on the road prices. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's 1, 23, 21. Woo wee! What a bargain. What a bargain. Hey. Great to see you guys. Hi, nice to Wanna see say you. hi? Hi everybody. Hi everybody, how are you? This is Chris. Oh, Couldn't believe it you. when I saw Dave there. It was awesome. Hey, yeah. thank you. Thank you for watching. I'll thank you. So we're going to kick off a little dispersed camping actually tonight in Arizona just before we get to Flagstaff. It should be a really, really cool place to check out. And then after that, heading into New Mexico 
for a couple of uh, really beautiful state parks there. And then another beautiful state park actually in Texas. So along the way there'll be some beautiful lakes and also an amazing canyon. So I see, I see. So, you know, Dave's the planner. I get to go along for the ride. A lot of times i uh, not aware where we're going, but I know it's going to be a fun spot. So he's trying to keep these state parks as a surprise, but I know from what he said, they're supposed to be beautiful. Isn't that right? Damn right, they're going to be beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, now that's what I call taking care of business. <laughs> so Dave, what's going on? Don't you camping here? Yeah, uh, the road's closed, yeah. but I think it's fine right here. I think we, I think we'll be fine camping overnight right here. We got a Revel in front of us okay. at the Echo. Oh yeah, and then we got our, our the Jamboree got a Revel, coming up. And then us, and then a Jamboree. And it's so amazing. So these folks, Actually, we drove past each other, Tammy and Kermit. You'll meet them in a second, but it was funny. She's got this big old jamboree right here, right? And she backs up. She saw the uh, our echo. She backs up and she's like, <gasps> Yes. Those are my peeps. My peeps. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> my peeps. This is what we're calling home for the night. Yeah, it's a little dispersed camping spot. Yeah. Right off 40. And we won't be alone. We won't be alone. We got actually three, well, two other campers with us. I so. know. I know. I'm excited. So, yeah. time to get those up. Exactly. And I, I didn't actually think we'd be needing the heat, but it's, it's I think out. we're going to need to use the heat tonight. Okay, Tanya, what are you doing in there? Oh, I'm sleepover. We're having a party. She's sleepover. Over. Come join me. Yes. Yes. Oh, Come join me. The, this okay. is awesome. Yes. We're having a sleepover day. This is it. Oh, there this we go. Alex, oh, have that. Yes. yes. I'm too little to push it all the way. There we go. We're, we're going to leave you this and is, Kermit and Mom to make supper for this us. This is what our new life relax. looks like. <laughs> This is boondocking. This us. is boondocking. Right? We don't know how long the lights are going to shine, <laughs> but we're going to be here. We're going to be here all night. Good morning. So we had a nice sleep last night here in this first camping spot. You can see the Revel right there, still there. And there we are. And of course, our new friend back in the Jamboree. We had not had coffee yet. We're going to get some coffee. We're going to head over to a really great family-owned breakfast spot here in Flagstaff, which we're excited to check out. What do we got, babe? Oh my goodness. All right, so there's tracks here. They're kind of one in front of the other but they look like they could be bobcats. Let's I'm not look. sure, but look at those things. Yeah, what are those tracks? Those are really cool. Hey, if you guys know what tracks those are, let us know in the comments. Those are really cool. Definitely not mountain lion because you can see the claws in front of the pads and definitely not, doesn't look like a dog just because of the way it's Right, and kind of roundish, roundish too, so it might be bobcat. Ooh, well here goes Tanya Cat, ready for some breakfast. <laughs> of a neat little find you found here. It's like we're driving through these cute little neighborhoods, heading towards these mountain views, and the restaurant is coming up soon. So it's like nestled in a neighborhood. A little neighborhood favorite. A, a little neighborhood, it's like a hidden gem, a real hidden gem. Hopefully we can find some parking for this big boy in this little hidden gem. I know. <laughs> it's like a trigger. Over here. All right, we made it. All right. Oh, What's that, Madre's Cafe? Madre's Cafe. <laughs> Have some breakfast. Time for some breakfast. Hey, so we are very lucky today because we get to meet Miguel, who is the owner here at Madres Cafe. This is the, like Dave was just saying, it's the second one. You guys have one in the We got one down in Playa, Playa oh, del Playa Carmen, Carmen. About 45 minutes from Cancun. Wow. So that's the mothership. And this is yes. the, okay. Yes, that was our first one. We've been there for a few years. Yeah. We decided to bring it here to flag. I mean, it was going to be a little challenge because, um, I mean, you'd have to train your customers, regular customers, yeah. unlike Playa or tourists. So it's yeah. gonna, it, it was going to be a little challenge. Oh, of course. But so far, we've, we've been blessed. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Coffee's very good. Right? Yeah. Very cool. Oh, I love yeah. that. Straight witch. Well, cheers. Cheers, baby. All important coffee. All important Start coffee. Off. Look at that. A little comes in syrup. Just a little whiskey bottle of syrup. That looks wonderful. Of course, those gorditas look amazing. And wait, hold on. You haven't seen a waffle look like this, have you? Look at that. Wow. Oh, no. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my gosh. That is like all homemade. I mean, this is all Looks homemade really cool. Oh, whiskey. Straight up. Just, yeah. you know me, I love my love. Oh man, Dave. I'm just going to like break into that. Like, look at that egg. It's like perfect. There's so much goodness going on here, Dave. It looks awesome. It smells awesome. Mm. 
The waffle looks like it would be really dense. And it's not. It's really light. I'm surprised by that first bite. Got to put a little habanero sauce on here. Just a little. Oh my God, it's so spicy. Okay, here we go. Mm. Look at that bite. That's really good too. Really nice flavor. Mm. Here's the poblanos. Mm. Of course, the eggs all in there. Of course, the eggs. And they did this fresh. Mm. Got a little, oh, yeah. A little love. Mm, but I'm just saying. And kind of the like, fresh tortillas too, like really I nice. Know. So uh, right now we are standing on the corner in Winslow, Arizona, and it's uh, such a fine sight to see. You know, there's a lovely old Ford. <laughs> <laughs> but pretty old girl and just just looking at me or uh, actually we'll oh, be looking at Dave <laughs> But hey, it's 2023 Oh, I'm on like a roll. I had like a large latte. I'm just like I can't stop typing we got a new video dropping today, so I have to get this done. You know how I get. I'm like, oh. get her done. Get her done. Large latte, typing away, scheduling stuff. Because once we, uh, I'm not sure about the next destination we get to, but we may not have all kinds of good right. power to be loading stuff up. So. So you're telling me you aren't taking it easy? Not on Winslow. <laughs> Turn it up, world. So we are getting close to our destination, Blue Water State Park. And uh, we only have probably three miles to go. But Dave was just saying to me, it reminds him of Texas Hill Country. And it really does, I look at it. I right. Of course, we aren't close at all. Not at all. You're right, a very different elevation, but it kind of does. It right? really does. You're yeah, kind of looking off like and it's the like- the juniper, the cedars. Yeah. Do yeah. you know there are probably some snakes out here you want to watch for that might remind you of Texas too. Yeah, Every move you make. Hey, here we are. We made it. Blue Water Lake State Park. Oh, it looks amazing in there. Woo, so we are all set up here at camp. It's actually a very nice campground now for electric outputs. Very limited. There's like a central area that has electric. And as you can see, right over there, past Dave, way over there, they're all in use. That's the power station. That's the power station. We got no power. We have no power. The power all comes from our rig. It all comes from desert snow. But hey, it power. looks good. And we have plenty of power. Something if you're like making a reservation versus first come first serve, you get screwed. We're too early in the season, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't actually make a reservation now. It's yeah. all first come first serve. First come first serve. Okay. And there's a lot of places that need to be served. We're going to kind of wind down tonight, just chill. And then tomorrow we're going to walk around because it's like a lake that's kind of right behind you right over there which is really very pretty and uh it's pretty windy today but we're just gonna explore check it out and then maybe we'll give you a tour tomorrow maybe we'll take down the bikes go for a ride and really explore because there's also a canyon on the other side which should be cool but i'm starving so we'll see you tomorrow Good morning. So it's a very windy morning here in Blue Water Lake State Park. Now, I have to tell you, we're going to explore today, really trying to check out this place. We have, I've heard that they have wild horses that may be out roaming about. So we're going to have some fun. We're going to explore, hopefully not get blown away. And then I am going to prepare a really nice meal for us tonight because this is awesome. I mean, look at this place. Sun is shining. That's the best part. But first, you know your girl, she needs some coffee. So coffee first nice little setup here dave yeah trying to find a little wind block <laughs> using desert snow to block the wind the best we can but it's it's beautiful here right and i got my coffee <laughs> All right.
right, you guys, so dinner, sun is shining in my face. It feels like the perfect night for like yellow and green squash. I feel like a pork chop night and salmon for moi. Since Dave doesn't have like salmon, I'm gonna enjoy a piece of salmon. I'm gonna put some nice spices on that, lemon pepper, garlic. I'm actually doing something interesting. So I put a nice bat of butter in here. I have garlic into that butter as well. And I'm letting it sit into the sun a little bit to soften it so I can really get that garlic sort of in there, almost whipping the butter. And I'm gonna put that on the pork chop as well as the salmon. So that's gonna be a nice kind of kind of finalization to really make those uh, that pork chop and that salmon delicious and tender. But first up is veggies. So let's pop on those veggies. Mm -mm -mm. And of course we're doing this on the induction cooktop tonight. So let's get to cooking. Woo, so it's a little windy out here, but what I do is once I put the, the kind of the summer squash is what I like to call it in the skillet, I tend to put a little bit more of my veggie rub, which is garlic powder, salt, pepper, sunflower oil, paprika, just a nice blend of flavors. And it really kind of uh, caramelizes around the uh, vegetable. So it gives it a real pop of flavor. And I cook it, I make it a little almost al dente-ish because I feel there's just something about having it a little crunchier than say really soft and soggy. And I start off with this because I'm gonna make the pork chop next and then I'll do the fish last because we have one skillet and I know Dave does not like salmon so I don't want that salmon getting on that pork chop. So, you know, gotta make my man happy, keep him satisfied. And then while that's happening, the most important thing that you have to have is a glass of wine. So, Dave, can I have a glass of wine please? Hey, did I hear the wine call? Oh, you heard it. I thought I heard the wine call. And you answered. I shall. Here it is. <laughs> Response you. received. There you go, Thank baby. You, my love. Well, cheers, cheers to son. a wonderful night in this beautiful place. Oh, man. It smells good, too. Um, it already excited. smells good. I'm Ooh. excited for you to try tonight's dinner. Well, I'm excited. <laughs> So you know how I know Dave is really excited about dinner tonight? Because he's doing this. Oh, hey, hey. It's gonna be good. It's also good. I kind of like the skin. I mean, obviously I like an extra crunchy on the skin side of things. I tend to put a little bit of the like lemon pepper into the skin. So this is kind of lemon pepper salmon. So just enough in there to give us some flavor, a little burst, a little crunch, a little sass, a little yum, a little bite, a little tongue, a little See Dave, I'm also excited, as you can see. <laughs> if you could only smell what we smell, welcome to dinner, you guys. All right, thanks, baby. You're welcome, bon appetit. All right, so I guess I'll start with the pork, and you're gonna have a pork piece after, right? I think so. I'll see, this is a pretty big piece of salmon. It is so good. I'm probably gonna have some vegetables and salmon. I do love, I love squash like this with the great seasonings on it. Oh. Ooh, nice fire. Oh my goodness, this looks so wonderful. Nice job, babe. Nice, babe. Yeah, I'm really, really feeling like this is the perfect ending to today. I agree. And it's so warm. Oh, oh. looks like you're watching the game over there. I mean, the Bruins gotta play better. Come on. <laughs> Come on, please, make Dave happy. Let's do it. Woo. So Dave and I found this really cool trail here. We're like 7,500 feet up, so certainly feeling the elevation, but it's super cool. Come on, let's go for a run. Uh huh. Amazing. Beautiful view number one. Absolutely beautiful spot here. Wow. <laughs> and I think the trail actually goes down into the canyon. Yeah, way down the right? there. And it kind of just wraps around that like little. I mean, there's a lot to cover. But they said it was pretty steep. They said it's pretty steep. They did, and the sign said, "Watch out for rattlesnakes." So we definitely have our eyes peeled for those as well. Yeah, big time. So I actually have the proper boots on, at least high hiking boots. Just to prevent. They've got no help. Yes. Oh, soak it in, guys. Soak it in. Soak it in. Wow. Dave's got his uh, metal detector. In this, in this case, he's got his little snake. <laughs> <laughs> snake, 
Snake stick. Yeah, I'm a professional here, guys. <laughs> not, 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 not. <laughs> so much fun, right? It's oh, absolutely beautiful I feel here. Winded though, it's like now we have to go back up. I know, heading back up. <laughs> I'm no, kind of winded. Yeah, we didn't head all the way back down, but it's uh, so beautiful. Oh, it's here. a beautiful hike. I know we have a uh, quite a bit to do. And, it, and it's a little bit less than a mile, I think, the full length. So it's not a bad hike. No. But you, you do a lot of down and a lot of up, right? So just right, be prepared steep for and that. rocky. So that's where they want to say make sure you have good shoes and just be aware of your surroundings because of the things that are out here. <laughs> Back up. Ooh, be careful because it's kind of getting a little narrow oh, up yeah. here. So well, I got my metal uh, metal detector. Yeah. AKA snake, snake I know, detector. You still have it. It's still still hanging in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! But I think when we're this is a oh wow! But see, sometimes oh, the coolest amazing, little yeah. roads here like this pathways roads. <laughs> wow. This is kind of the edge. <laughs> Dave is standing right there. Yay. And if you look down, you can see the trail, how it continues along the bottom, right along that little stream. Very, very cool. Whoa. But watch where you walk. Pay attention, pay attention. So if you come to the state park and enjoy hiking, definitely check out the hiking trails here because they're absolutely beautiful. You can see. What do you think, babe? I think they're really right. nice. I think there's multiple levels. like. I saw a green dash, yellow dash, red dash. Maybe that means easy, medium, and hard trails, but they're really beautiful. This one looked pretty cool. Yeah. We did it. Hydration and time to chill, get some work done, or dinner. So we actually decided not to get anything in there after all. Yeah. Weren't really feeling it. I know. I think it's myself. I got to be careful. I could go crazy with all that fudge. I can go crazy with all that chocolate, but it's probably not really good for me since I'm trying to get into my summer bikini. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you know, it's that time of year when every stop to fill up gas, Dave is cleaning off the windows from all the dead bugs. Good job, Dave. Good job. So we made it. We're here now at the Santa Rosa State Park in New Mexico. And this is the Rocky Point Campground. And uh, Dave, I have to say, he definitely won with this spot here. But it's supposed to have bike trails. Uh, we may explore that tomorrow. But look, right over there, off in the distance. You might not even see it here, but we'll definitely see it tomorrow. There's like a lake right over there. Beautiful. You got the uh, beautiful trees, the hues. It's just, it's a really nice state park. Now I will say the bathrooms, <laughs> you know, but the park itself is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, yeah, Dave and I were setting up camp. He's taking a quick break, having an apple. Look, we got the lights ready to kick off the evening. You know, we always get that little party vibe going. And just enjoy the uh, beautiful area. I mean, this is a really another beautiful campground state park and it's uh, the fees are pretty cheap i think it's like i'll ask dave one sec so dave how much is it per night here it's costing us about 18 bucks a night Ooh, okay not bad all right so we're heading to uh What's it called, Dave? Klein's well, Corner? Apparently, it's the world famous Klein's Corner. World famous. Since 1934. Wow. And apparently, they have magnets and keychains. And too. ice. And ice, everything you want. This reminds me of uh, with all these signs. Like wild druggish? Wild druggish. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ice. Here we go. But it's not Where's free. the free water? No Where's free the, water. No free water. They're going to charge it for that. <laughs> Today, not bad, right? You're walking. It's kind of cute. Got some uh, some Santa Fe salsas over here. Mm -hmm. You got the fudge. I saw that fudge factory. I'm definitely cool. gonna get a little fudge. I think. And then sure. and then uh, all the kind of touristy stuff you want, little souvenirs, t-shirts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the touristy stuff you want. So, what do we want? Oh, 
both, Dave. I think. Wow. Talk I'm about saltwater taffy heaven. I know. I'm just not really a, a saltwater taffy kind of a kind of a guy. You're not. But what about the old school? Remember Big League Chew? Oh my God, I do, do remember, remember Big League. Big League I love Chew? that. It was all like strings. Yeah. It like, just kind of take your palm. Exactly. Good morning, good morning. So we are off on a bike ride. We're exploring this beautiful campground here. And uh, ooh, thank God I'm doing it on the e-bikes because there's quite a few hills here and I couldn't talk to you guys in one swoop breath like this if I were doing this. All the pedaling, look at Dave go. Hi Dave, woohoo. Yeah. So we're off, we're gonna actually check out, see the lake over to the left over there. We're gonna go explore. There's a dam that's not too far ahead. There's actually hiking trails as well. So we're gonna hit up some of those hiking trails today. It's just gonna be one of those days, kind of check out this beautiful campground as we're on our way to Texas. And we actually may have some suggestions. So we posed a question, where should we go here in New Mexico? And there was one place in particular, a couple that you mentioned, there's a lot of responses, so thank you for that. And uh, if we do decide to check out this one particular spot that a couple folks said we should not miss, you will be the first to know. Woo! Okay, okay, hold on. I gotta focus now, catch my breath. So we've come across this beautiful sort of scenic, I, I can't hear words you're saying, bike trail. So we're uh, <laughs> we're gonna explore this here. It's like a scenic bike trail. So it's designed for handicap and also scenic and that's because it's paved. A lot of the trails here have a lot more rug, rugged, road type rocks, dirt. Woo, this is amazing. You ready for the view? Look at the view. Wow. I see the other trail. Wow. We met a really nice ranger who has lived locally here for years. His family's been here for years. Yeah. And he actually gave us some great tips to explore today. That, that, this trail around here is actually one of those tips. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Right? And there's uh, actually, we're gonna be biking into a special spot that he recommended. It's, it's a spot that he said his grandmother even worked at. Um, right. So it's been around for a long time and we're gonna build up enough appetite to share that with you. But these trails, Dave said it's amazing. And it's just one of two. The second one he said is even better than this one. I can't believe it could be better than this one. This is gorgeous. Yeah, this is amazing. So Comet right there, Johnny Comet, that is the original New Mexican food restaurant. That's actually where the, the park ranger, uh, that's where his grandma used to work. And it's been here forever, forever. And we have a new friend here, has a collar on, so I'm hoping it can find its mommy without following us, so yay. Whew, you guys, <laughs> oh my gosh. That was probably eight and a half miles. Was, yeah. One way, now we still have to go back, but we made it to the spot here called Chico's. Chico's, supposed to be really Chico's. authentic. Yeah. Highly recommended by the ranger we bumped into. Yeah, and so we're really diving into some food yeah. here. I feel like this is gonna be a good meal. I'm excited. <sighs> Me too. Hungry? Yes. We definitely are. Dave, I'm already looking at the menu here. Yeah. You got the Chico specialties, and they said that the tortas are popular. Right. And you actually choose your meat, I guess, oh. with the torta. And of course, tortas come with lettuce, tomato, onion, jalapenos, avocado, and mayo. Yeah, maybe pork. And then maybe we'll try some tacos, too. I'm with it. I'm thinking barbacoa, pastor. Time to order. Adobada, and maybe asada. Let's order. I'm hungry. I am hungry. <laughs> What do you think, babe? I think this looks amazing. This torta is huge. -a. It is. I mean, it's like no joke, but we got it. I'm excited. The french fries look nice and crispy. I already tried them. And those tacos, oh my gosh. They look the crazy. The sauces, which I plan on mixing. It looks Cheers. crazy good. <laughs> Time to eat. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, wait. Cheers. Thanks, baby. Mm, mm. So what do you think? This place is a true hidden gem. Isn't it this really? This is incredible. I mean, so authentic. Everything is amazing. So if you're kind of cutting across 40, looking for a place to grab some food, uh, think about Santa Rosa. And Chico's. Right here, Chico's. It's really yeah. good. All right, and we'll, we'll try to remember to put the name and information below in the description, but if we don't, remind us in the comments. Yes.
Man, it's so good. Right? Flaky, light. Right? No, it's not. Jalapeno gives you a little bit of a spice bite now. Mayonnaise, avocado, a lot of crunch. That's good. I thought it was gonna be heavy, but it's not. Wow. It's delicious. Oh my God, y'all. This is gonna be a total of about 16 and a half miles we just did on these bikes. And I swear, I was thinking, okay, it's not gonna be as hilly. I don't remember that coming in because we were driving in. I'll be ready for a nice ice cold lemonade. Cuddle with the kitties and Dave, and it's time for a nap. <laughs> it's time for a nap. Woo! Beautiful morning here at Santa Rosa Lake State Park. We're gonna check out, they have some biking trails and hiking trails. Apparently it's about a three mile hiking trail that takes you down to the lake. And what we understand is that the lake is at a very, very low point right now. So we wanna check that out. But uh, this place is absolutely beautiful. That was a fun stay here. It was a fun stay, but now we're packed up and ready to go. Packed up, ready to rock on to the next. Where are we off to? We're heading to Texas. <laughs> this spot here called Blue Hole, which is probably like from the entrance of the state park. We were just at the Center State Park like 10 minutes. Exactly. <laughs> so cool. And it's supposed to go down, I think 81, well, it goes a lot further, but I think where the pool uh, actually ends down below was 81 feet. So a lot of folks come here for certification for their diving. David is so clear. so cool. Holy, that is like unbelievable. <laughs> So today we're gonna take one for the team and start it. A little morning, a little morning jump. A little morning Something brisk, water. yeah, yeah. It should be cold enough just to tighten your skin. Exactly. Make it look 10 years younger when you come out. So we just wanna first say thank you so much to our subscribers and we'll put their names right here on the screen for recommending Blue Hole. We put yes. a question out there to say, what should we check out while we're here in New Mexico? And you guys recommended this. Dave. All right, so thanks everyone. Thank you so much, we appreciate that. Look at that, Blue Hole. Blue Hole. Ooh, the blue hole was a lot of fun. Oh, it was great. I felt like the more and more we jumped in, the more and more confident I got, and the water started feeling like extra refreshing. It was super refreshing. And we were like the only ones there, we had, it basically. Our, it was our own little private, pure swim, swim ball. It was so clear, too. Like, all that water flushing through, it's like incredibly clean water. Oh, super clean. I, I you, you were like, you, you ever got tempted to jump off the bigger one, and I would let you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Alright, back in Texas. Back in Texas. Deep in the heart of Texas. That's right. Texas, Texas, we're coming for you. Tanya and Dave, we're back more. Woo! Came into Palo Duro State Park here, and there's an overlook as you first drive through, and it's pretty. What do you think, babe? What do you think about this? Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, wow. look at this. It's like, are you kidding me right now? I feel like you're we're at the top of the castle, and it's pretty windy. Yeah, it's definitely windy here. Yeah, and they kind of get let you know where everything is. If you want to kind of you know, there's a lighthouse way off in the distance. <laughs> yes. So we came to our camping spot here, number 15, and we actually already have some visitors here. Yeah. And I don't know if they're welcoming us. We're going to have to find out. Females, and there's a male over there yeah, checking his feathers like, oh, ladies. Ladies, we gotta move from this spot because uh, Tanya Dave has just arrived. We're coming in. Coming in.
have some work to do. We have actually a video release coming today, so we're finalizing that. Then after that, we're hoping to uh, take a walk on some of these beautiful trails they have here in the park. But first of all, I've got to clean up a little bit here. It's that time. The realities of uh, life on the road here. Shaving men. <laughs> oh, that shaving men. <laughs> that shaving men. Don't mind her. <laughs> Heckler. Heckler. <laughs> Oh, so we packed it pretty quickly today. Yes. Nice job on that one. I was like surprised. I, the time change always messes with me. It's like two hour difference makes a huge difference. Exactly. We're still kind of on a little bit of a Pacific time. Yeah. I'm like, okay, we're not quite on Central just yet. Yes. But we're getting there. I will tell you though. Doesn't Desert Snow look a little bit better with that bath yesterday? Oh yeah. There were a lot of uh, bugs across America that got washed off <laughs> last okay. night in that rainstorm. It was a, quite a rainstorm. It was quite a rainstorm. I was afraid we were going to get some hail. I was like, no. Yeah. Oh, it didn't happen. Yeah, no hell. This is it. We are on our last leg here of this first round of yes. trips. Kind of uh, what eight hours to this is gonna be Athens, a Texas. This is it's a bit monster of, drive. Gonna be a monster one. Gonna be a bit of a monster. So the less we can stop, maybe we'll probably switch up a bit. I'll probably have to drive a little. Yeah, maybe we'll find a Bucky's along the way. Oh, that. Oh, I need to restock up on some beaver nuggets. Right. Oh. Okay, so about 10 hours later, we are finally arriving here in Athens, Texas. We are less than like seven minutes away and it feels so good to be wrapping this up because my butt is sore. I don't know about you, how's your butt? Uh, my butt's sore and I think we killed more bugs than we've ever killed before driving across the, uh, the country. It's been horrible. So sorry, buggies. So sorry. But we're here in Athens, Texas. We're going to meet up with some RV Unplugged folks. It's going to be a great time and maybe you might be able to see a couple's at the event. I don't, we'll see, right? I think so. <laughs> we have arrived. Get ready. You hold a smile, I'll hold your hand. Take this love around. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Ooh, I can't believe we're already at the end of the rally. This is crazy, right, Dave? Unbelievable. Time just flew. I just love coming out here to this little lake. It's just oh, this little pond. Sorry, this little pond. But you know, this has been such an incredible experience. And if you're watching this right now and you were here at the RV Plug Rally, thank you guys so much for being a part of this incredible experience with us. It really meant the world to us. Quack, 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 quack. So I finally finished up some laundry. What? Yeah, high laundry, five. high five. All right, clean clothes. <laughs> so what's next? Well, I think it's time to hit the road. Oh, it's time to hit the road, y'all. Off to the next adventure. Turn it up, boy.